now. It's probably gonna turn on again later, but it's a little, it's a little dim. Although I don't hate the mood lighting. It's not, it's not, it's not bad. Let me see if I can brighten it up a tiny bit. On. Oh no! Come back! Come back! Five, six, seven, eight. Maybe to like an, like an eleven. Yeah. You know, we're not trying to get a migraine or anything. Oh, my ponytail's coming up. Kitty, did we lose a, we lose a scrunchie? <sighs> All right, welcome back, quick looking. Mm. Yeah, I wanted to, I wanted to change it up. Oh, where the pink one? Oh, last week. Kitty's trying to talk to us. Hi, kitty cat. Did you miss stream? I know, it's two days and I don't stream. And we, uh, you know, we hang out at nap time and bedtime and in the mornings and stuff, but you don't get your, you don't get your nine to noon. <laughs> Hi. Also having a hazel lunch. What's up, friend? Hey, guys. Long time no see. You excited for uh, season four when we <laughs> see if we can get the band back together for a hot minute? Let's see. We can get this back here, more or less, roughly. And yeah, that'll work for the moment. I came out to the Waking Shores because I have business here. Let me show you what I did. You'll never believe it. On my days off, I logged into World of Warcraft and I made some progress on storm chasing. Mind you, I didn't finish any of these three, but they're closer than they were. And I'm pretty sure that for Waking Storms, Thunderstorms is the only one I have left. And that does look to be Thunderstorms. So let's start with that. <laughs> Supposedly they were working on fixing it up so that they are, are going to be pairs of storms once more it, it's it's not working yet but it's a thing they've acknowledged they're trying to do which is nice <laughs> i felt better about that although maybe by the time they finish it i'm gonna be like well i'm not gonna be done who am i kidding the way these things go is you work on them for a while and then you get stuck break the, break the breaker i do think i'm gonna end up needing to find more rares as well but i think for that i just need to get to a invasion like right at the top and there should be one that spawns right away Let's find a group, shall we? Awesome. These groups for Storm Chaser have been popping. They've been they've been real good. Some people fill to four, some people fill to five. Okay, I only see two right now, but maybe it's because it's morning. Oh, speaking of morning, how are you guys doing this morning or afternoon or evening? Got tie event last night. Nice. Congratulations. Love the hair color. Is it new? I've had this wig for for a while. It just wasn't on regular rotation. Took the world larger to dive in and made him small. Oh no! But I didn't even have him yet. Hang on a moment. Let me see. Don't worry, I'm still gonna get him. Even if he's the size of my little toe. Yeah, that's a more reasonable Bacar mount size. Mm. Still no Peggle cataloging quest. Oh man. I haven't- I know there's been a world quest reset, but I haven't looked at it yet. So I'm- Eventually I'm gonna have to- make my figure 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 that out i do still have my my worksheet that we made last week on the stream i wrote down like the coordinates of the different npcs that i needed and the zones where the cataloging quest will spawn so i can kind of figure out piece together whether or not the quests i need are up but i want to start with the um i want to start with this first have these captions always been here no you are you are indeed noticing something sort of new. I did used to have these for some amount of time, but then I lost them when I switched from OBS to Twitch Studio. And then when I switched back to OBS, I did I tried to set them up, but I didn't do it right. <laughs> so they weren't working until like we were playing around with them and talking about captions on the most recent stream that wasn't this one. So on Sunday, I think it was something like that. Spent far too long remembering how to sewer skip in Elden Ring. My fingers hurt. Mm. You have, you have a nice you have a nice time. <laughs> Chen and Okelfin are up. I know I need Chen, so that'll be good. That'll get one off. Yeah, I switched back to OBS a while ago. <sighs> I didn't include it in my newsletter though, so. <laughs> Morning, all you lovely people. Complain about the smoldering Phoenix Ash worked. Got two of them right after each other. Nice. I um, swear by complaining to make things drop in WoW. It's my last resort. I don't like to do it, but it works every time. But I finally start to complain to somebody. It's usually usually when the thing decides to drop. It's great. Need Nat Pickle and Time Warp Mysterious Fisher. Mm. 
I'm pretty sure that I need those two plus Chen Stormstone, and then I'm going to be done. 25 times in a row, so skips back on the menu. <sighs> Only need those two photos, the old god book, and then I'm done. Nice. I... Yeah, one thing at a time. We'll do the, we'll do the storm. There'll be another storm later. This will be exciting because this is my last Waking Shores storm. So after this, I can officially, like, if I look at the, the today in WoW and WoWhead, and they, uh, and they tell me that, that it's a storm in the Waking Shores, I can say, no thank you. Not for me. Did that already. Been there, done that. Tell someone who cares. <laughs> Something to that effect. I always complain about not being a billionaire. It never works. Mm. Yeah, the magic for me usually works for making it snow outside or for making wow items dropped. <sighs> what if you're a billionaire, but like, instead of in money, it's in like, you know, general goodwill of the universe and <laughs> love and people that care about you. Fishing from my last storm. Had an alarm going off every three hours, waking me up to check. Holy moly, you're gaming. I could not. Not anymore. When was the last time I did that? I did that. Well, okay. It wasn't that long ago. <laughs> I did that for the... I did that for the, the... What were they called? Tormentors of Torgash. The special encounters in the Maw. When I needed specific ones of those for that meta achievement, I, at a certain point, was like waking up in the night to check them. But... Aw, oh, dude. <laughs> you have a billion pine nuts. Billionary karma. Took three weeks for my last storm. Ooh! Uh, you can try to pay bills with goodwill of the universe. You can... You can... You can't... Um, oh, the, the electric company probably won't take it. <laughs> you should have a backup plan for that if you can. <sighs> Assuming that electricity is something that is important to you. It's important to me. <laughs> Without it, I would be chilly. It would be cold. Uh, how are we doing? 34 of 200. Yeah, this is awful. <laughs> Some of these locations I've found will tend to go much faster than other ones. Kind of depending on obvious things like mob density. How many of the primalist mobs that spawn? It's really rude that there's these primalist mobs that are... That are... They don't count. Like, I think they're here because of the primal storm, but they don't actually count towards the buffed mobs total. Um, and it's, I end up pulling them anyways because I'm never doing this paying full and complete attention because, you know, th this is the kind of energy we save for, like, my birthday. <laughs> but they don't count. Oh, well. Um, yeah, we have electric heat. Most places do. Um, not every place, but most places here. Didn't do alarms to wake me up. Um for storms, because it definitely wouldn't have. I just said it every three hours to remind myself to check. Hmm. Requires mythic dungeons. Hmm. Two mythics I never did. Oh, yeah, 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 for the, for the thing. It does require mythic dungeons. They're easier now than they're gonna be in a couple weeks. Once season four hits, the mythic zeros are going to be more challenging. So if you had an, an, an inkling to do them, I would pull the trigger sooner rather than later. Uh, it's not that they won't be doable, they'll certainly be doable later, but they'll be a bit comfier. Maybe harder to find groups for, but comfier now. Hmm. Looking forward to Shadowlands Dungeons in the Mythic Plus rotation. So to be clear, we're not talking about this upcoming season, which does not have Shadowlands Dungeons in the Mythic Plus rotation. Not that that's what you said, but just in case anybody, definitely not me, heard that for a moment and, and panicked. Uh <laughs> We're talking about a hypothetical, you know, we're within season. Um, yeah, right, good. Okay, glad we're all on the same page. <sighs> Blood pressure, calm down. <sighs> Shadowlands Dungeons. Um, yeah, sure, fine. <laughs> I don't want to sound apathetic about it, but I'm going to do pretty much any dungeons they stick in front of me. Um, how, what, I, what I think of them doesn't really matter. We're going to do them for a season, then we'll do some different ones. You put your left foot in, you put your left foot out. Don't look forward to it then. When have I ever looked forward to anything? <laughs> I look forward to, you know, Game Freak giving me, and Nintendo giving me a playable Pokemon Gold on Nintendo Switch one day. That'll be lovely. That's pretty much the only thing. And it's not even a thing that's guaranteed to happen. I could live and die my entire life and they'll never do that. And I'm just going to have to live with the memories of Pokemon Gold that I made as a child. 
forward to lunch nearly daily? I think about lunch. That's different. Salty that we can't have our own nuclear reactor. Mm. Some, uh, I was gonna say nuclear caffeine, but I'm just making stuff up. It's just coffee. Honey Bun Games, thanks for the 34 month resub. Holy cow, 34 months. Happy month anniversary. Love the green hair. Wash oh, shucks, thanks. Also, Lily with a 26 month resub. Time flies when you're having fun. Thank you very, very much. I did a 16 Galakron's Fall. It was not that enjoyable. Bursting did enjoy. Red Pelly at that level that much anymore. Mm hmm. All words are made up. Do you think onomatopoeias are less made up than other words? I do. <laughs> yes, they are. 1896, trying to get KSM for the first time. Oh, you're so close. What's your guess for War Within pre-patch release? Uh... I'm the worst person to guess because I don't really pay that much attention. <laughs> I should. I am a full-time WoW content creator. I should probably have the roadmap like tattooed in my eyeballs, but um, I'm choosing to be zen about it. It'll be out when it's out. Earlier than I thought it was going to be, so like, I don't know, September? <laughs> let's, let's guess. Let's say pre-patch in August. July? June. Purple. <laughs> I don't know. And then expansion in September? If they put out the expansion in the September, then it'll be out in time for my birthday. Thing that goes boing being described as going boing? Precisely. Do you think BFA time walking is ever going to happen? Oh sure. They get to all of them eventually. I think dragon walking, dragon lands, dragon lands? Dragon flight time walking will happen eventually. Just gotta give it enough time. Got so bored after doing my usual Mount Transmog runs. I got a third Corcoran Juggernaut and still no tusks. I'm so sorry. Started looking up random mounts to get. Spent 10 minutes finding out where the portal is. I'm blind. It's a horde vendor mount. Oh, no. Would love an expansion for my birthday. Yes, thanks. Are you excited to begin your quest? To become the top cataclysmic streamer on Twitch now that we have a release day. Oh, man. You can't imagine. Watch War Within come out the week before her wedding. Does she, does she play WoW? Hmm. Um. I had a really nice weekend. It was wonderful. It's not, but I'll be required to be in town for all the pre-wedding festivities. I see, I see. Imagine that you were planning your own wedding and it happened to coincide. I mean, I'm sure this has happened to tons of people. Your own wedding coincides with an expansion release. I guess it depends on how involved your wedding is and how much you are needed to participate in versus having other people set things up for you. Because, you know, you don't have to. Not, not all weddings require a lot of festivities, but lots of them do. <laughs> You're just like at your own rehearsal dinner and you've got like your laptop under the table. Hmm. I want to make an earth and you could have your reception be a giant land party. Now you're talking. <laughs> Set up a place for all the gamers. Just imagine all the older, I, okay, this is a stereotype, but they're older. Imagine all of the out of town relatives though, of any age that don't play the game and don't really understand. And they're so excited to come into town to see you and the other resident gamers. <laughs> and they come into the land hall and you guys are all like, maybe later grandma, I'm raiding. <laughs> I got to get to level level 80 before Thursday or else I don't think I'm keeping my spot on the roster. Sentient Acorn, thank you for the two month recent Wee! <laughs> if you want to postpone your wedding because of a WoW launch, I don't know what chances I would give that marriage. Well, what if both, um, what if both uh, wedded people to be are into the game. Actually, in that case, they would probably have a wedding that that would just go and overlapped it. <sighs> Can't say I do till this rape boss goes down. Hmm. <laughs> 
I've learned that I'm disinterested in traditional weddings. I love them for other people. I'm I'm really happy that other people are into them. I will when when socially um ex uh, you know socially important for me attend and you know support etc. Um, I am real chilly on the concept in general, but um, I don't need to ruin everybody else's breakfast with that. <laughs> uh, Jamie Lee Curtis officiated a wedding with Jada Proudmore. I want that energy. Do you know if Storm Doffel Count is done in a different tune? I don't think it will. I'm not sure, but I don't think based on the 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 colors of the achievement pane in the in the window. I think we're out of luck. I think I have to do Stormed Off again, because I had Stormed Off done on a different character, but I'm doing Storm Chaser on this one, and I think I'm going to need Stormed Off and Storm Chaser done in the same character, because um, Into the Storm does not read as an account-wide achievement. It, it's possible that's, like, not true, because, you know, who knows anything in this game anymore? It's not consistent. But I'm expecting to have to do it again, because this was completed, but not on this character. <clears throat> Uh, did stormed off my old main, stormed off, stormed off my new main who has better gear. Yeah. It seems like it won't be that bad of an achievement to do because you only need eight rares and supposedly there's always one. I've never gotten here early to find out, but supposedly there's always one like right at the top of the invasion when it first spawns. They like mark on the map and stuff, I think. They're, they're pretty big. So it shouldn't be, especially with double storm spawning, I don't know, it shouldn't be too bad. But I haven't really tripped and fallen more than like one or two. Into the Storm is not a count. You have to complete all Chivas in one character. Thank you. Tell Jeff that. <laughs> uh, yeah. Stormed off done another character. Once I got into the Storm done, logged on and off that character completed. Oh, that'll be a good thing to try then. That would be nice. I would like to not do it again. If you're willing to be awake at disgusting hours, rares are normally up on our realm. I don't know if I'm willing to be awake at disgusting hours. I like my beauty sleep. <laughs> I like my snoozes. I like my nap naps. <laughs> uh, how are we doing? 134 or 200. This one's going slow. I mean, first of all, I'm going to take a moment to defend the honor of the hours that we are designating as disgusting. That's kind of mean. You know. <laughs> what about... What about... What did four in the morning ever do to you? Well, probably stuff. Four in the morning usually does stuff to people. But no, I'm, I'm, I don't know. I sleep at night. <laughs> I like to sleep at night. If I'm not sleeping at night, I'm not usually up because I want to storm chase. I'm usually up because, um, you know, like the, the dog's sick or I can't sleep or whatever. <sighs> Have the audacity. That's what it did. 4 a.m. storm would get you just about all the rares in one go. Yeah, I bet. You are making it sound better. <laughs> you are kind of talking me into it. Um, double storms, they posted. It is for real. It's not working yet, but they're trying to get it working again. But the intention is to have double storms again, which is nice that they confirmed that because I was beginning to get suspicious. 4 a.m. is when big lights attack. High noon somewhere in the world. That's sweet, Nordic. I'm up at that hour because I'm a degenerate. Uh, Lucky, thank you for the 31 month race. I've been away for a little bit, but I'm back to wow. Nice. Welcome back. I haven't thought about Overwatch voice lines in a hot minute, but that one really brought me back. <laughs> Yesterday, we took Mr. Moose on a big hike that involved a lake, and he went into the lake. It was very cute. I didn't know if he would be the kind of dog that likes water. It's kind of a gamble. Some breeds are disposed towards it, some are disposed against it, and Moose is kind of like a blender mix of breeds, so it was always going to be a bit of a dice roll. But he, um, he splashed right on in there of his own accord, if he hadn't been on leash, I think he would have, like, gone for broke because there was another dog that was, like, chasing a stick into the water and was really wanted to follow it. But um, I wasn't ready to off-leash him there because there was a lot of dogs and uh, he's very pro 
approaching dogs, and not every dog is down for that. So until he can, like, settle down a little bit. Uh, he's got to stay on a leash, but he was splashing around. Um, he was not afraid of the water at all. It was really cute. Go get breakfast before lunch. Speaking of being degenerate, should probably go to bed at some point. I vaguely remember something involving that voice actor. Uh, did they revoice it or did they? No, 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 no. It was the namesake, wasn't it? Didn't they rename him? Or no, they renamed a map. No, I think both because the Wow Zone got renamed as well. I think they renamed the person, not the voice actor, but the person that the 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 dev that the character was named after. So I don't know if they if they renamed the character. They probably did, but. Remember Argus used to have Macari and now it's not that? Let me find it. I don't know. <laughs> Argus. Um, Aerodath. Yeah, Aerodath wasn't always called Aerodath. That's right. <laughs> Just want to make sure we're not slandering a poor voice actor that didn't do anything. Uh, jealous our dog just can't deal with water. He was, he was sort of stomping in it. Like, he was very curious. He's a very curious puppy and he like... He kind of treated it like an enormous puddle. He was like, he was like stomping his feet to see what the splash would do. And then he would dunk his face underwater and then hold it above the water to see if he could make bubbles with the water dripping off of his snout. And then he started biting the bubbles. And then he just started biting the lake. Like he would go, hmm, and he would just bite the surface of the lake. Now he wasn't drinking, he was biting it. It was weird. <laughs> it was really cute. Finally got to 5k and BGs this morning. Congratulations. <laughs> this splooshing around the cutest mental image I've had all week. I have I have a couple of little video clips of it. I might dig them up at some point. <sighs> mm. So you know how pets and owners become more alike over time. Yeah. <laughs> what are you getting at? <laughs> Are you saying I'm getting all cute and fluffy? I'm sad they reduced Tyvan's size. He was perfect before. Yeah, I heard about that. I didn't even have him yet. I, maybe it's for the best that I didn't have him yet, so I didn't get a feel for what I lost. Which way do you think it'll turn out for you and Moose? I think we're already kind of alike. Although I can't really tell. Well, I guess I could tell you why. It's not that embarrassing. I wonder when Hazel's gonna start biting the surface of lakes. <laughs> swimming in lakes. Mm. Swimming lakes are cold. Um, I I learned to swim in lakes because that was just kind of how you did it <laughs> growing up, and I hated every second of it because it was it was freaking freezing. Um, and I am a big baby when it comes to stuff like that. I don't like cold water. I don't like cold showers. Um, the whole thing just upsets me. <sighs> So I don't know for sure. Like I will swim in a lake if it is so hot out. Like it's been it's been like 33 Celsius plus for days. The lake itself has warmed up. Um, I am like on the verge of heat stroke. Then I will go in and splash around. But like I'm not in a big hurry to do it. <laughs> Join the polar bear club. I don't know about that. There's got to be something. There's a lot of people that do it here, and. They're all a little bit too into it. There's <laughs> there's something in that Kool-Aid. Previous dog wanted to murder any form of running water. Passed out when he got excited. Wasn't a wasn't a vibe in the rain. Aw. Ocean swimming in February felt great. You're one of those. Uh, no chance of you noodling catching fish by hand. No, not so much. Hmm. Love to see Moose playing with water. Playing with the water hose is my pup's favorite thing. Lunch is over. Hope to see you guys in my last 15. Later. Have a great day. See you later. How are we doing? 187. We're almost done this part. It's coming along. Noodling seems really weird to me. I think it's cool. It's just not not something that I feel a need to get into. There are too many possible hobbies in the world. Um, I I need to leave. I need to leave like 
90% of them alone just for my own. <laughs> just, 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 just cuz. <laughs> what is noodling? My limited understanding, and chat can correct me if I'm wrong, which I'm sure I am, it's a method of fishing that involves physically, like, tickling the fish out of the water. Um, like, you lay your hands in the stream, and you wait for a fish to come, like, rest on top of them, and then you basically, like, try to flick it out onto the bank, is my basic understanding. <laughs> what? I think your hands would get really cold. Thank you. <sighs> I also feel bad because, uh, you know... I like to, when I'm fishing, the fish that I'm catching, because they're biting on, like, bait or allure, they were in the act of attempted smaller fish murder. So, um, so, you know, it's just like a, like a fishy, fishy fish world out there, except I'm the bigger fish. If I'm noodling, that fish was just sleepy, man. <laughs> Not to say that it wouldn't have tried to eat somebody later, but at that moment, it was just sleepy. Um, I'm grinding the World Awoken meta achievement. Working on it via the storm chasing section. My herb light turned on, which means that I can turn one of my stream lights down to compensate, because it's now too bright. I don't need... Well, that one's fine. This one stayed pretty low. Yeah, it's alright. <laughs> That'll do. My bags are a mess, my goodness. Actually, before I hearth, let's clean up your bags here. I had to replace the helmet transmog because Noble Garden's over, so I couldn't wear my Bon Bon ears anymore. Boo. And I picked the Ever Love Eternal Orange Rose. I don't remember what it was from, but I have a big old yellow flower that uh, that I could mog that wasn't like the flower crown, and I thought that looked nice with her uh, her yellow dress. So we're still in a pretty pretty spring outfit. I used to be saving all this stuff. I can't be bothered anymore. I'm tired of saving it. Our gold's doing okay from all this. Finally passed you on item level. Nice, congratulations. Your herb, wink wink, is ready. No, no, that would be a phase for me. I can't guarantee that I won't have that phase. I seem like the kind of person who would discover marijuana at the age of like 37 and then be all about it for like two years before I realized I was embarrassing myself. And that, you know, it's fine to enjoy it, but like, calm down, <laughs> kind of thing. And I, you know, we've got some time before we get to that phase, so it could happen, I, I, I could see it. Six more years then? Yeah, something like that. <sighs> Gummies are nice. Uh, yeah, it's legal in BC. Strike me more as magic mushroom phase before pot. Maybe. Um, psilocybin not as legal in BC. Please don't call me out like that, Hazel. Listen, there's not a thing wrong with you. Hmm. Um. All right. What are we doing? We are, oh, you know, I know what I want to do. I want to check and see if I can find a climbing quest. Yeah, there's one. That's a cataloging raft. There's one. There's a climbing quest. There's a couple of climbing quests. There's cataloging raft. So let's start with the climbing quest. The closest one is probably there. Because I can finish another achievement and it'll be nice to just kind of cross one off the list. I might be going kind of out of my way, but that's fine. <laughs> I won't forget to catalog, unless I do. Climbing quest in the Emerald Dream as well. I hear those ones don't count for this achievement that I'm working on. Mm. That'll be the return of the Hazel After Dark streams just blazed out of her mind. <laughs> oh, dear. Mm. <laughs> what if one day I move to the forest and I end up in a growing mushrooms phase, but no one's ever 100% clear on what kind of mushrooms I've been growing, but I start talking about um, the interconnected universe like a lot. <laughs> game sound on? It seems kind of quiet. What's around? I guess it's not as quiet for you guys. Here we go. Uh, my birdie's tired. I'm gonna get onto a, onto a non-battery operated birdie. <laughs> what? what else did we do on our holiday? And by holiday, I mean weekend. 
I was pretty excited to have gone for that hike because that's the kind of thing I always talk myself out of because you had to drive there. And normally from having a cozy day, the last thing I want to do is get in my car and go anywhere. But I'm really glad that we did because it was lovely. Although poor Mr. Moose threw up in the car. He almost made it there. We were almost there. And then he throws up in the car. And every time I try to make excuses of being like, oh, he just needed something else in his time of year, or that thing didn't agree with him, or it was because of this, or it was because of that. But I've, I've done the math, and like, of the last five times he's gone anywhere in the car, I think he's thrown up on four of them. I think he just gets car sick. And the poor boo-boo. On the way home, I cracked the window for him in the back, and that seemed to help, but he was also like gassed from the hike, so that might have been it too. Yeah, you might just have motion sickness, but I have yet to do any research or ask my vet to find out what on earth you do to help a dog with motion sickness. Because, you know, it would be nice if we could drive places without the poor guy, you know, chucking his cookies. He does, it's not a very, I wonder if that's why he hates getting in the car. It's not because he can't jump up in it or because he doesn't, it's because it makes him feel sick. Of course he wouldn't want to get into it. Poor doggo. Mm. Put a saddle on Moose, ride him to the trailhead. Oh dear. Um, I need to make sure I'm getting the purple, purple, there it is. Baggy. That's good. What else do we get for finishing this? And Dragon Skull Rep. I don't think I'm going to bother with that. Because this should be another achievement. How did these get here? Nice. Hmm. <sighs> I just have this like fantasy of him just like hopping up into the back of the car and then we're zipping off to go on different hikes and he loves the trail. He's he has just the time of his life hiking once we get there. But we kind of have to drive to get there. Mm. Dog got car sick for his first 7 years. Got over it when he started going out every morning for a ride. Maybe we just have to do it more often then. Although it doesn't mean we have to like lift him into the car because he doesn't want to get in. And, uh, let me tell you, it's not as easy to lift as he once was. I can't do it anymore. I cannot single-handedly pick him up off the ground. I can lift his front half or his back half, but not both. Um, I will, I will throw out my millennial back. <laughs> Used to have a bunny that loved car rides. Mine liked having the window open. I'll try that more. Yet another reason to get ripped. Go to the gym, gets full just to lift this. There you go. <laughs> All right. Chen Stormstep, Waking Shores cataloging. He spawns at 50, 60 at Waking Shores. So this looks like the Chen Stormstep cataloging quest, if I'm not mistaken. Let's let's go. <laughs> Hazelnutty Gaines. <laughs> I should save that for an April Fools. But I need to, to commit to the bit. I need to actually like secretly work out all year so that when I finally like post a workout video to a workout channel for Hazelnutty Gaines, I'm like genuinely ripped. <laughs> that, well, not ripped, but like, I don't know. What would we say? Toned? Alive? Okay, so 50 comma 68 is going to be where Mr. Storm Stout actually spawns. Oh, that's the, that's the world quest location here. Okay, um, let's make a macro to help target him. And we'll stick it on our two button. Should still work, even if we can't see the bar. But if we can't find him, we shouldn't finish the quest. I don't know if my macros work. He's really far. Don't take pics until you see him. Okay. I watched the most frightening video that involved people using those sil oh, there he is. silicone bodysuits um, just to like 
I don't know, look look fit for Instagram or whatever. And in another section of it, people would take these little temporary tattoos of belly buttons and put them on their tummies like a couple of inches above their belly button to like give the illusion of different like longer legs, I guess was the idea. It was weird. <laughs> Imagine you take off like, you know, like you take off your pants and you've got two belly buttons. Is that better? I don't know that that's better. Um, chasing storms. Oh no, not storm chasing. I'm looking at the wrong achievement. I'm pretty sure that I got what I needed for cataloging, but I just want to double check. So for Wake Me Up, Legendary Album is the last thing I need for Wake Me Up, and I am now down to the Time Warped Mysterious Fisher and Nat Pagel from Feldrazis and the Unarmed Plains, respectively. Huh. Okay. That's that done. We are really cleaned up here. We are, we're looking pretty good. So we need to do... Center of Attention is what I'm going to do last, because the final thing I need to do is pet Tidemans, and that's nice. So we're Storm Chasing, although I did the Storm for the moment. And then we're doing dragon quest is the other thing. So let's go to the, let's go to the, because I'm pretty sure the, the other cataloging quests are not the ones that we need. If there indeed, there is a catalog mode with Azure Span, that's not what I'm after. And there's a cataloging disc in the Emerald Dream, which does not help. So. <laughs> Eon's Fringe. Off and away. Finally being able to respond both when asked if you're an in or an outie. When was the last time someone asked if you're an in or an outie? <laughs> I feel like that was a big topic of conversation when, like, during childhood. I remember being very upset that I had an outie because I thought an in was, like, nicer. So I would try to, like, push it back in. <laughs> uh, good times. I'm going to be right back. I need to, I need to do a thing. Hang on. Alright, Kira get us to Eon's Fringe. Uh, Kira did something else, which is why I had to get up! <sighs> One day, I will have a home layout where um, I don't share an office with the litter box, but we're, we're working with what we got here. Hmm. The nice thing about sharing an office with a litter box is that it is pretty easy and straightforward to keep it very clean because you see it all the time. You can't like forget about it the same way that like an out of sight out of mind litter box in a room that you don't go into as often. It like, you, it would take more diligence to make sure that you're scooping it every day. I can scoop this thing like four times a day because every time I walk by it, I go, ew. Hmm. Learning something about tummy tucks. How the placement of belly buttons after cosmetic procedures can be all messed up. Hmm. Uh, I should probably look at fringe benefits. One, two, three, four. So we're four of eight. I just need to make sure I'm not repeating any Dark Cross lovers. I think that's one of the only ones that I actually... Yeah, I have that one already, so I don't need to do that daily. Oh, well. All right. Well, that solves that problem. Which brings us to... Nothing to do but dragon quests, I believe. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I was trying to figure out. So I've got two more quests achievements. One of them is the Unarmed Plains quest line. I'm hoping that one's pretty straightforward. Um, the other one for Dragon Quest, Active Listening Skills, Rebel Dragon Kin storyline. Confusing to me, but um, I have a few different campaign quests. So I may, I like, I kind of may as well. 
I can also poke around in BTW to find out whether or not I'm on the right thing. Low god therapy. <laughs> okay. All right. Have at it. Old hatreds, I think, is going to be pretty reasonable. People have feelings about that one. Yeah. Um... I don't really even know which quest line we're talking about. That's not it. I may as well go talk to Tyr and just get this tavern because he's like right over there. Com tied to completing side quests in Feldrazis. Oh. So if I, if I, okay, that's good to know. So I might need to do more side quests in Feldrazes. Cause like, I wonder if I, if I wonder if I'm closer on my evoker. I wonder if my evoker's got what, what she needs. Just do every quest in the game. Problem solved. I have not done skinning this expansion. No. Misty Veil of Rebel Resurgence from the Sojourner Chiba. Ooh, okay. Sojourner of Feldrazes. Okay, yeah. So I've done them, but not on this character. I should probably mess around to my evoker then. Bummer. Okay. Hi. You have a tabard for me? Thank you. Do you think your hue and beer be changed wigs midstream and then came back and said absolutely nothing about it? Would people notice? Yeah. <laughs> At least three people, one of whom might say something about it. What am I doing? I'm going to log off, basically. I'm going to switch characters is what I'm going to do. I played so much Stardew Valley in my days off. It was magical. <laughs> I got all cozy. I made a blanket nest on my couch. I had like some breakfast and some coffee and oh, it was awesome. Checking on this character. Morning from Vancouver again. Hope you have a fantastic day on the island. Thank you very much. We have beautiful weather this morning. It's lovely outside. A little chilly, but sunny and nice. All the tulips are coming up and they're so pretty. Okay, so this character has Sojourner. Hey, there we go. <laughs> I would have driven myself absolutely bonkers trying to look for that on my gnome. It, and I would have, that would have made me crazy. So I, I think we're in good shape here. It looks to me that um, Dragon Quests for a World Awoken are account wide so it's okay if i do yeah it's totally fine if i do um new beginning on this not new beginning uh listening skills on this character there we go <laughs> you're doing storms welcome to my struggle thank you thank you happy to be here <sighs> i have been trying to find things to multitask while um while doing storms, especially in my days off where I wasn't streaming, I would like log on to do the storm and I'd be like, okay, I've got 200 NPCs to kill. I'm going to put something on my second monitor. And then I would spend the entire storm not finding anything I wanted to put onto my second monitor. It's the most first world problem ever. I eventually tried Netflix and then I finally logged into Netflix. I pulled up something and then my graphics and wow freaked out like, like wild levels of um, not, not rightness. And uh, I had to, I don't know what was going on with that. Maybe I need a driver update, but I decided it wasn't worth it. <laughs> I just listened to the sound of my own thoughts. Uh, teleport to the bottom floor. Oh, okay. Or 
or we could we could dive. I want a different transmog. I like this mog, but I want to wear something else. I'm going to change. This is where all my gold goes. I think I can get rid of those key fragments now that we're done that achievement. But. I sent this character a couple of um, item boxes. But at their base item level, they're not really better than my season 2 gear. I would need to upgrade them, and I don't know if I've got that. So, what are the outfits that I've saved here? We've got these, these, these. Lots of costumey stuff on this character. I like the primal robe usually. I think I want to come up with something that has maybe that one's pretty cool too. I call this one grocery stump because I like to think that she's like gone shopping and she's coming back holding her bottle of balsamic vinegar and then she's got like her greens in there. Should I really be making a new transmog right now? Well, yes. <laughs> All right, key components. I want something a little less costumey. I want not not costumey at all, but I want something with some kind of pants elements. Um, not too cluttered at the top. I want something that's kind of pieced together a little bit. I want something... Kind of cool. I kind of want like a chainmail looking, but like red. Uh, these are all rhetorical questions. I'm just going to kind of noodle around through here. Not quite like that. Not quite like that either. No, too too blood elf. Not quite right. Not quite right. Kind of. <laughs> I don't have that one that I was wearing before in a red, do I? I have it in purple green. Like some red boots. Oh no, the red boots that I have are leather. We have um like that. And then maybe like some of the knives. No, no more luck. Yeah, okay. And then, uh, Ozium, maybe? Tough. Uh, the Mad Wiz, thank you very much for the brand new sub. Appreciate it. Hmm. How do they all have fun? I don't normally do shoulders and a back piece. I could I could switch out and do either or or I could maybe try to find like a a more like a really small shoulder mm. This is a uh, really important you guys understand Let's come with sleeves. Uh, Lajar Patas? I'm so sorry. I'm not quite sure how to say it. Thank you very much. Plunder pants? Yeah, I think they're the plunder pants. Uh, I do like them. I don't want a super bulky glove. I do want a glove. I want it to be pretty slim. 
Not that short, though. Long and... Mm, not that bright. Not quite like that. A little better. I don't like this. Never mind. <laughs> Forget it. Too bad. Giving up. What are we doing? We're going to the bottom floor over here. That's right. <laughs> I have to keep my dragon naked. Yeah. I don't know what I want. I don't even main this character anymore. I don't know what I'm doing. <sighs> Used or tried the fake fire extinguisher mock you can get from a Dunmoreau quest? I don't think so. Hmm. Alex. Alex, we're having a little chit chat. How do you feel when Rarity tells you that your odds of obtaining something by now is 100%? I mean, it, it shouldn't ever hit 100, right? It should approach but never reach 100. I don't know much about probability, but I thought that was a thing. <laughs> There's always an outlier. It's one of the few chaotic unfor unfortunatenesses of life. Well, I don't know about few, but it's one of them. Scale Watch Caverns. Where's that? That is not far. Okay. I wonder how long this quest line is. I guess we'll find out. I just wanted something... Maybe I'll put her back in her regular primal robe set that I had saved already. I wanted something with pants. I wanted something kind of like it, but with pants. I think I do have a top that's kind of like that top, but doesn't have the rest of the thing. Maybe in like a shirt form? But it might not be male. Do I have a shirt like that? I have a few shirts. No. Never mind. good. There wasn't a this week in WoW, was there? Like the Blizzard post roundup? I don't know. That is how the math works, but Rarity is not. It's programmed weird, which is part of why it bothers me. Oh. Yeah, I can see how that would be annoying. Yeah, thank you for the 17 month reset. Good morning, Hazel. Happy 17 months. I found a great out on this week for tracking Mog that only comes from World Quest called World Quest Achievements. Nice. That sounds like a good tip. Okay. I would be. I can't complain that questing takes forever when it takes me this long just to get to the <laughs> to the the general location. This is my second to last, like, actual quest line that I have to do, though. The Blue Dragon one seems to have definitely been the longest. We have the, the Bane thing after this. I wonder if I do this one today, and then, depending on how long it takes, maybe the Bane thing tomorrow? Because then we're just waiting on Fringe Benefits. <laughs> I've been so lazy on that. Fringe Benefits is not a difficult achievement. It's not hard. I should have... Or, let's not use shit. I could have had it done some time ago. I just haven't been terribly diligent about remembering to do them. Or prioritizing doing them when I do remember or am reminded. They're up to something Trixie Hobbitses. What to expect this week, promotions, etc. Oh. Mm -hmm. uh, do you think in the future you'll want to have your Drakthir doing keys and stuff again as an alt? Yeah, if, like, if I ever get curious about Evoker again, I think. Sorry, bud. Don't know what to do. If I ever, um, if I ever am just like setting up alts, and uh, and I need an evoker alt, then this is definitely the go-to. But I think uh, I'm gonna be cooling down off of having mained it for some time. Oh, my sound gave out. Oh, there's a key. Okay. I see. Help you out with that. So I need to capture rebels. I tried. What happened? Oh no, that one worked. 
Maybe some of them, maybe some of them just aren't into it. You're the good person here, forcing the enslaved dragonkin back into service. Mm. <sighs> I I think the 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 world of me being the good guy and wow, we lost that a long time ago. <laughs> uh, that hasn't really been a been a consistent thing for like ever. How are you, Hazel? Hello, I'm doing well, Scarlet. How are you? I'm all right. Oh, hmm. Every time I go on mine, I get reminded of how fun they are. Oh, hang on. I'm supposed to be, I'm supposed to be, uh, there we go. <laughs> Not murder, prison. There we go. Much better. <laughs> what else did we do? I finally made that quiche I was talking about making for ages. It was not too bad. It was all right. It took ages to make. But I found out that when you roast butternut squash slices in the oven, they get really delicious. They're super good. <laughs> Much better. As long as there's XP or loot, we'll murder anything. Hmm. Love peanut squash. I have more of it because I only used about a third of it for the quiche. I have more of it. And I've just been meaning to make soup, but uh, meaning to do something is and actually doing it are very different things. <laughs> Especially with me and food, me and cooking. I've gotten uh, a, little, a little off my game, off my groove. How do you find perfect team for every character? Oh, I don't. Um, some 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 characters I just change constantly. Especially if I'm playing it all the time. My mains mog changes probably weekly. But when in doubt, I just put on a goofy costume. <laughs> Wish T-Mog wasn't so expensive to change. Mm -hmm. You can always be a void elf. That'll help a little bit. I wonder if it's because I've begun... I need to maybe do it before I open fire. That might go better. Yeah, having a lots of options is definitely good as well. Can't complain about that. Hi, kid. You want to come sit in my lap? I remember the short-lived Void Elf phase. How long did it last? I didn't even make it... I think, like, I did it in the pre-patch before the expansion came out. Would have been, like, Legion, right? And then, um... Maybe not even Legion. No, that was Legion. I did it in the pre-patch before the expansion came out. And then by the before the expansion actually came out, I realized that I wasn't going to do it. <laughs> You're on your hair out? Sort of. Um, I don't really have plans of how long I want it to get. Um, I'm just kind of experimenting with various lengths of it. I'm just letting it grow longer to see how I like it, to figure out um, what I want to do next. The only thing that I've ever really been able to count on with my hair is that I like change. <laughs> so I wouldn't ever get too attached to any one state of it. Oh. <sighs> Um, it's kind of long, not long, but like it's, it's scruffy right now. And, um, I'm considering, I'm considering bumping it back a, a while, but I also kind of want to see like, if I give it an entire year, what, um, what the, what the length looks like and how much do I hate it? <laughs> void elf, void storage, cheaper transmog. I alt suffer because I have less mail and plate. Yeah, my mail, mail, yeah, mail and plate, exactly, actually. I was going to say leather, but I have um, quite a bit of leather just via druid sets from having druided on and off. Maybe you wanted to go for the longest hair in the world Guinness record? Imagine not being in the Guinness book. Sometimes I try to capture them and they don't want to come with me, and then I kill them to make them think about what they've done. <laughs> Uh, no, I've never made feral. I've never made a melee. These guys, these bruisers are not about it. Mm. That's fine. We'll get there. Um, yeah, I've never made a melee. I the things that I've actually properly like rated on as a main in my life have been holy priest, shadow priest, preservation evoker. Um, I had different shorter phases in like mop and previous, but I wasn't really like rating with a guild on any of those things so anything that I would have decided had been my main would have been I don't know arbitrary just the character you log in more than anything else Bam. 
Want to be a balanced dude? The star form so pretty. I always end up back as cat. Take your collection of transmogs with you into the war within. From the panda event. Sounds interesting. Okay, after I finish this little quest area, I want to pull up that announcement and read through it. See you later, Mr. Sonic Jin. <laughs> Playtime equals main. Yeah, I had like a couple of months on a Destro lock in Mop. Um, but And then uh, in Cataclysm, uh, and to some extent Wrath. Wrath and Cata, I had a couple, I had some time that I spent as a hunter. And then I guess a little bit as a Rester Druid, but... I, I've always come back to Priest. Can I have Link want to read? I, I'm just going to go poke around at Wowhead. I'm sure that it must be on top of their on top of their news feed. Is it these? Is the, the Bruisers always first character that you got to max? You could call that a main? I don't know. <laughs> I actually genuinely don't know. It would have been either a Hunter or a Priest. I played both in my early days. But I don't know which one I finished first. Read the notes for the event. Seems neat. All right, all right, hang on, hang on. I need to capture two more rebels. One. And nope. Yeah, if it doesn't work, you have to kill them. It doesn't let me use the thing again. How long have you had Inksy? That's a good question. She wasn't always named Inksy, which makes it tricky. She had a different name. But I think that I made her in the end of Mop. I think I made this character. I think I made my priest character, rather, at, towards the end of Missa Pandaria. Because I was setting up to play in Warlords of Draenor with Carbon, is what was happening. Uh, do you consider yourself as someone who cares about the lore or more of a collector of things? I am not a lore person. I it doesn't hold any interest for me personally. Um, I'm a I'm a big old fat cutscene skipper. <laughs> I like collecting and I like um I like I like playing. I like progressing. I like doing Mythic Plus and raids and you know a little bit of PvP and getting getting item level up in a season. I like I like playing with the systems. I like doing professions and gold making. But uh, I've not been too worried. I like the atmosphere of the game. Don't get me wrong. I don't want it to just be like all <laughs> black and white squares with no models or personality. But I don't feel a strong need to know like what's going on in terms of who, who did what to who and who is at war with who. Um, especially not like individual character stories. Like I, you know, am not terribly worried about like how Alex Straza feels or like Jaina or, you know, Thrall. You know, I hope he's, <laughs> I hope they're happy. But they're not real people, so if they're not, then that's that's really their problem. <laughs> Alright, let me look at this thing. Let me look at the thing. Hold up. Hold your phone. Hold your horses. Wow, remix. development. Well, Remix. Mists of Pandaria. Relive epic adventures with an all-new event arriving in the 1027 content update. Well, Remix, Mists of Pandaria. Experience the wonders of Pandaria anew, but with fresh loot and almost unlimited power. Eh. Time-limited event. World of Warcraft Remix is a time-limited event which allows players to re-experience the entirety of the Mists of Pandaria expansion at an accelerated rate from level 10 through 70. Eh? All loot has been completely overhauled and has powerful new effects allowing players to shape their experience, power up, and power on. Features include accelerating leveling and content allowing you to take on nearly every quest scenario dungeon and raid, create a new WoW Remix character starting at level 10 to adventure through the event up to level 70. I like that. A mountain of loot. Get powerful items from everywhere. Quests, chests, creatures, bosses. Customizable items allowing you to power up as far as you can go to take on tougher content. Convert unwanted items into bronze, which can be used to upgrade items or purchase cosmetics. 
Ding, 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 ding. They got me. Uh, keep what you collect. Take your collection of transmogs with you into the war within. Ha, ha, ha. No expansion purchase is needed. This sounds awesome. No expansion per purchase is needed, but a World of Warcraft subscription or game time is required to, to begin this fast-paced adventure through Pandaria. This means that classic players can also participate in a plethora of pandemonium by simply installing the modern bracket live World of Warcraft content. Wow, trial accounts will also be able to experience this remix without a sub or game time through level 20. Purchase a sub or game time to continue beyond level 20. There will, with WoW Remix, Mists of Pandaria, snappy, there will be, what happened to time running? Is it, was it too confusing because people were confusing it with time walking and they just wanted to like separate it? Probably. There will be no slowing you down and you'll be able to take on nearly every quest scenario dungeon and raid right out of the gate with accelerated leveling from 10 to 70. View the chart below for the availability of each type of content. So 10 to 70. Jade Forest, couple scenarios, handful of dungeons, and then once you get to 20, you unlock a few more zones plus a landfall campaign. Interesting, they've kind of like mixed in some endgame content to, to the different brackets. Once you hit 25, you can do Kinlay Summit, you get a new dungeon, and you get your first raid at 25, Mogushan Vaults. I, I have questions. Um, mm -hmm, Heart of Fear, Terrace of Endless Spring, etc, etc, etc. This is actually going to be so cool because I didn't raid these raids. I didn't raid during mob. I didn't raid until Siege of Orgrimmar when I was like pugging flex raids. I hope people don't make me feel dumb because I don't know the fights. Create a new character to undertake your adventures in Pandaria. Collect a variety of items. Take your transmogs with you. Additional character slots will be available so you have room. Oh, okay. All remix characters created during the event will convert to a standard character to play within Modern WoW at the end of the event. Cool, okay. From the realm select screen, be create a new remix character, which will only be able to play with characters taking part in the event. New loot, new you. Players will have the opportunity to collect a variety of items from everywhere. This is so sick. <laughs> Each time, I'm so proud of them for doing stuff. Imagine WoW devs trying new things. I'm so happy. Thanks, guys. <laughs> Each time you loot new items, you'll have a chance for powerful new upgrades. Like to push limits further, faster as you progress, gradually become more and more powerful. Items grant increased permanent stats. Metagen. Thunder an orb, transform into an orb, dealing damage to enemies within its mirrors. Okay. These gems kind of remind me a little bit of Heart of Azeroth powers. Primordial gems, tinker gems. Okay. Cogwheel gems. You'll be able to earn an artifact cloak that gains permanent power increases as you play. I'm hoping all this makes more sense like when you're actually in it doing it. Like this is this is a little bit a little bit glazing me over. But I'm, I bet it'll under, it'll make sense when we're playing it. I just wonder why there's so many types of gems. You've got meta gems, primordial gems, tinker gems, cogwheel gems. They must all fit different gem slots. Uh, I, I wouldn't expect that you can... They're not bringing mop. It's not... <laughs> I don't know anything that you don't know. We were all reading the same post. Um, so no, we're not getting the legendary cloak again. We're getting an artifact cloak. Whether or not it has the same appearance, I, I would be surprised. Uh, maybe it has a recolor appearance. Power you earn on your strongest character is shared with alternate characters created for the event to make leveling even faster. Earn titles, a variety of transmogs, previously unreleased color variants of older mounts, and more by completing WoW Remix Mists of Pandaria specific achievements during the Remix event. They will become feats of strength when the event ends. There's no oh, the chicken. There's no such thing as a bad drop, and any drop you can get, you get, can be converted into a new currency that you can use to purchase upgrades and a countdown cosmetics. Head to a bazaar in any zone to purchase everything from class transmogs to mop mounts, toys, and more. This allows players to purchase items that were previously unable to obtain. Difficult to obtain is random drops by spending this new currency to add them to their account's collections. 
Uh-huh. Uh, no auction house. Cool. Looks like fun, so much to do. Sister Coyote, thank you for the 18 month recent hello alert. And it's limited time is the thing. I wonder if it's gonna be a six week time span, like, like, um, like, Plunderstorm is. That sounds like so much fun. I guess my question about the raids. I wonder what the difficulty is going to be like. I wonder if there's multiple levels of raid difficulties. Because you can do the raids at low level. Like, once you get to 25, you can do Mogushan Vaults. Is that just one difficulty of Mogushan Vaults, or are there multiples? And... Are we are we all pugging this? Or I guess you could put together, like, a group. Interesting. No, there's no release window yet, I don't think. Heroic raids at 70. Mm, yeah, you're right, that's true. It does say Heroic raids at 70. Coming out with a new Mythic Plus season is going to be a lot. Yeah, not to mention, um, we're within Alpha at some point, right? Like, <laughs> they're they're feeding us. Busy, 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 busy. Temporary accommodations. All right, let me get back to my quest. I got to finish my meta achievement. There's stuff coming. So 1027 was hitting PTR soon, right? Yeah, it kind of reminds me a little bit of, like, Classic and Season of Discovery and stuff, except that it's less of a big commitment, because you know it's only going to be around for, like, X amount of time. Presumably not a crazy long time. Um, so you can, uh, I don't know. <laughs> it sounds like fun. Like, it sounds like something that you could ostensibly finish, but still be able to kind of play through all of the, uh, all of the mop stuff. What kind of character am I going to make? How do I not just make another gnome priest? I mean, it's a character that you get to keep afterwards. I could be a panda. I could get in theme and I could make a panda. I don't have... I mean, no, I do have a panda. Let's not disrespect, disrespect Wormbin. My money is on Hunter. I do like Hunter. I do like Hunter. I guess there's another question. Are we playing Dragonflight classes through mop content? They're not... Or, or are they kind of mop classic and rolling it back? My guess is that... The, the base class design is going to be modern. Like, because they said make a modern character that's flagged for this. I'm I'm expecting them to not roll us back to whatever on earth we were doing back in MOP. But I don't know that for a, for a certainty. <laughs> Missed what you were talking about? They've announced a new event. Let me grab a link. Let me grab a link to the, the WoW post so we can just... I'll just keep it on my clipboard for now. Yeah, I, I'm not... Ex I'm expecting it to be Dragonflight dragonflight specs in the old content um but that's just a guess we don't know that for sure i hope these older character models sounds like a season yeah <sighs> plus um this sounds like something that could kind of bring some classic and some retail players together because <laughs> i'm sure there's classic players that have been just waiting for mop classic and this is kind of like mop classic season of discovery basically but like an accelerated sort of zippier version of it. I think I told her she needs to crush them with force. <laughs> Something to do while we wait for War Within. Exactly, yeah. Oh, man, remember what we were doing? Sorry, let me try to enunciate. Do you remember what we were doing at the end of Shadowlands while we were waiting for Dragonflight? Nothing! <laughs> I was looting 500 chests trying to get a gilded waiter. And cleaning up cleaning up Vale Strider. I was happy that we had a faded season. That was the big discovery at the end of Shadowlands that let us kill some time waiting for Dragonflight. Was, oh boy, there's one more Mythic Plus season where we get to do some older dungeons. How, what a concept. <laughs> we were doing laps around Oribos. Yeah, like, this is... <laughs> this is awesome. <sighs> and, you know, if somebody wasn't into it, there's still Season 4. There's still these Dragonflight meta achievements. There's still, like, the Awakened Raids and stuff. And we're not expecting War Within to be crazy far out either. <laughs> 
Yeah, we just looked at the we just looked at the news we just looked at the news together. I am so excited for that. I want to know when it is. Do I want to know when it is? Maybe I'm not ready to know when it is yet. <laughs> I need to finish some things. I wish I had infinite time to do everything, so I never ever had to feel rushed about any of it. <laughs> I miss two laps, Norbus. For all the PvP people to complain, I, 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 I'm not expecting that, but I guess um, I guess I don't expect much. <laughs> Years flying, where everything will be here in no time. I think so too. I think you're absolutely right. Oh, rebels informed of incoming changes. Oh, pardon me. I should stop slaughtering them and I should start, um, I should start proclaiming. <laughs> yeah. I wonder, um, I wonder if I'm going to do it all on one character, if I'm going to play one character to 70 and then be like, you know what? No, I want, I want to do something else. If I want to like DPS and then heal. Cause like, what if I want to heal for the raids and stuff? Am I going to do it on priest? Probably. <laughs> Who do I think I am, you know? Hmm. There's too much to do. When have we ever said that at the end of an expansion? Troll druid. Hmm. Do we think it's going to be cross-faction the same way that, that Dragonflight is? Or in the way that Mop was, which was not? People I talked to are mad that Plungestorm was a patch without any actual WoW content. I'm sure those people will be mad about this too. I bet you some of them will be, but I think that this will appeal to more people that were kind of like that this isn't real wow than plunderstorm did because you're going to be like playing a wow character in using wow abilities doing like wow dungeons and stuff it's it's more wow adjacent than plunderstorm was by a pretty good measure i should stop my murder spree um excuse me hear ye hear ye alex Draza is planning to make changes <laughs> Uh, they they said already they're gonna bump up the character limit so you can you can make you can make more. They didn't I don't know if they said by how much. Here you here you diplomatic discussion. Diplomatic discussion. <laughs> I wonder if they will not allow any add-ons during the event to try it out. Hmm. That's a good question. I like in this mode we can carry over the transmog store within. Yeah, it seems like a more natural way of getting transmogs in retail. Not like completely natural as in the old fashioned way of getting transmogs, but it's a, uh, it's a little bit, it's a little bit, it, it's easier to swallow than Plunderstorm. And I like Plunderstorm. I did L40 Renown. I got my I got my stuff. But uh, this seems a little more... I'm more excited about this. This seems like something that I, w I like really want to play. <sighs> Best thing they could have announced for me personally. So excited. <laughs> yeah, I would imagine they'll allow add-ons, but I'm just guessing. I don't know. <laughs> it's a good question. They didn't allow them for Plunderstorm. But this seems closer to like a season of discovery thing than, although obviously time limited. Wait, I'm supposed to confront with uh. There we go. My bad. They changed the name because it's easier to apply to other expats. Time running pandemonium was a great name. Yeah, yeah, I could see them doing other expats in the future. My theory behind why they dropped time running was because um, people were were very heavily basing their expectations around how time walking works. And I think they wanted to get away from that to kind of clear people's mental palette so that they are not applying a bunch of expectations from a different game mode to this. Even though, I, like, I, I, I see where the time running name comes from. It's kind of like playing through an expansion, but like at a faster rate. Time running, haha. Uh -huh. <laughs> cool, but I'm feeling a little fatigued from limited time stuff. Yeah, yeah, I feel that. I think that in this instance, I'm I'm cool with it because especially with like group content like the raids and whatnot, if it was an indefinite thing, there would still be kind of like an unofficial timeline of like, if you want anybody to be around to do these raids with you, you kind of need to do it 
within blank amount of time. Having this limited time thing is going to kind of condense the player base and get more people playing so that there's people to do the, 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 the dungeons and the raids with. Oh, that wasn't so bad. There we go. Active listening skills. All done. <laughs> what about time sprinting? Time galloping! <laughs> Add on that shows you the percentage of the people that have a mount. Yeah, I do. It's um, mount journal enhanced. Uh, Plunderstorm Renown is cumulative. Well, let's see. It's 10.30. Our next storm spawns in 32 minutes. Oh, oh, oh. Let's do, um... Oh, hang on. <laughs> I just killed the whole game. Let's do the big dig. I haven't done the big dig yet for this week, and I can get some fragments for that because it's almost... It'll start in a couple minutes. I can go down that... Go down and do that. That'll be fun. Did so, you know I have a little kitty cat right here? Come on. Drew and I have trouble here, teacher. Time limited events are an easy out if they're unpopular. They are popular, they can keep them. I think that bringing things in and out, I think that, that having something that they can kind of swing around when there's a content gap is going to be very effective for them. Um, you know, like, they did a Plunderstorm. And they talked about this in an, in an interview. Like, if it goes over well, it's something that they can kind of, like, remix up a little bit and then do again. Poor choice of words. Um, basically, it's something they can have in their back pocket as, like, a here, let's <laughs> spice things up a little bit for a little while. There's another one of these going on. It's not that it'll never come back again. They're just... It's just uh, you have a limited amount of time to get... To, to do it when it's up. Yeah, I think that they have now enough of a standing dev base on different teams that they can make experimental content like this without disrupting their regular pipeline. Once upon a time, I don't, and mind you, I don't know anything about game dev. I've never been a game dev. Um, but it felt like, from the consumer side of things, that once upon a time, if they wanted to make something experimental, like Warlords of Draenor Garrisons, they had to literally, like, eat a raid tier. <laughs> like, there was there was a lot of other things they couldn't do because they needed all hands on deck to get that thing up and working. Whereas now it feels more like they've got sort of, like, separate, like, satellite teams, almost, that can work on something like this without needing to pull people off of, like, War Within development. It seems like they've kind of not only got their new content pipeline kind of down to a science, but they're they're able to, they have the resources to, to try other things. And I think it's paying off for them. I don't know, but it feels good. <laughs> have you noticed that the dig cosmetics are no longer account bound? Seems you have to move currency around now. Were they ever account bound? I remember I once bought, like ages ago, I bought a two-handed mace and my priest because I was going to mail it to a character to use and then I had to refund it and then buy the currency and then send the currency over. And that was like a while ago. <laughs> Literally a gravestone of the Alliance Garrison for Ray D tier. Yeah, I mean, it's a joke, but I, I feel like in Warlords especially, it has a little bit of truth to it just because of how that expansion <laughs> felt content-wise. <laughs> Uh, no, no, the candelabra, I, by, by the time I got the candelabra, I'm pretty sure I had learned my lesson. I think that was the thing I had to refund. Or was it the butt torch? But no, I don't know if it ever worked that way. Oh, I need to make sure I get the, the quest. There's a weekly quest here. I'm so happy that I finished the uh, Just One More Thing achievement and I got the Reese pet. It feels nice to have done. I was working on that for a long time. <laughs> and by working on that, I mean like vaguely poking around and doing a handful of Archivist quests now and then and being like, why isn't all of this done yet? I need to be clearing Restweed. There we go. Thought for sure it was account bound. Yeah, I mean, now I'm second guessing it, but you definitely have to send the currency nowadays. How much currency do I have, by the way? I have 3,000, so we're going to end up at like 8-ish. Mm. Could buy something, but could also wait. 
I do like that this is a pretty um, short, pretty quick, short and sweet thing to do once a week. I have so many lovely things to wear in my mouth character. <laughs> Inksy's gonna look so cute in the War Within. I feel like the trading post has been so good for me. Look at how adorable. I love these dresses. I love them so much. I know they caught a lot of heat for being too flat, but I really like them. <laughs> I think they look great. I think some of the other stuff looks too bulky, if anything. Do you prefer Shadowlands over Dragonflight when it comes to solo content and collectibles? I don't think so. I think they both had I think they both had some. I haven't had as much time that I needed to put into solo content during Dragonflight because I feel like I've been busier because they keep putting stuff they keep coming out with stuff. <sighs> Early Dragonflight for solo content was incredible. Like the initial renowns and in doing like the Tuscar fishing and the, the 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 Dragon Isles expedition and the side quests and there, I felt like there were just so many things to discover in Dragonflight when you were first running around. Have you started the new season of Taskmaster? No. I'm saving it for the right rainy day. Is it good? I'm sure it's good. Even the seasons that are my least favorite seasons are still better than <laughs> most other things. How many more storms do we need? So, first storm chaser. I'm done Azur Span and Waking Shore. So I need Feldrazis and Onarn Plains. I need one in the Onarn Plains, which is snowstorms. One more. And then in Feldrazis, I need three more. So I need a total of four storms. <laughs> three of which are in Feldrazis. <laughs> Barely anything at the start of Dragonflight? I don't know. I was doing fishing holes and Tuscar equipment, and I was doing expedition packs and dirt piles, and I was doing... Oh, profession knowledge and crafting. Dungeons. Uh, renowned quest lines. Rares. Never forget the, the rare spawn. The rare spawn competitiveness at the beginning of the expansion. Hmm. Profession knowledge was a big deal. I thought it was like a varied set of things to do. <laughs> Feldstorms are rough, they're rare compared to the other zones, not very mob dense. Yeah. Soup? That's right, we did soup at the beginning of the expansion. I had I had I would log on for that. I would like come back. Uh I have game sound done. Here, I'll turn it back up a little bit more. Got back from my mini trip to see the eclipse. Nice. Yeah, every... I was going to say every Feldraza storm. The one Feldraza storm that I finished was in Tearhold. And the density was not awesome. It wasn't as bad as... I don't know, some of the Waking Shores ones are pretty gross. But it wasn't great. I think I had like one and a half done in Feldrazas. Because that first one that I started doing when I was just figuring out the storm chasing thing was in Feldrazas. And I got like a handful. I didn't finish it. But I, I started it. Chasing storms in Feldrazas. Was it a snowstorm? Yeah, I'm 156 of 200 for snowstorms in Feldrazis. So there's one there's one where I'm only going to need to do some of it. Ay, ay, ay. Oh, sound effects. Yeah, no, I have those off. Um, I keep them... Sometimes they're on and sometimes they're off. <sighs> Especially when I'm storm chasing, they get kind of exhausting. Hmm. Favorite game right now when you aren't playing WoW? Right now, I'm having a 
wonderful time playing Stardew Valley because of the new 1.6 patch. Um, I'm playing through it um, in a co-op file with my friend Flabby. It's a really nice time. We're in summer. We're in our last days of the first summer. And uh, set, getting the farm all set up. So after this, I can start the um, the Bane quest line, the Hatred one. <laughs> I never thought they would actually get me to do that. I can start that. But then at 11 o'clock, there's going to be a new, new, hopefully a new uh, storm. If we're lucky, a pair of storms. And if I'm really lucky, I'll need one of them. Or both of them, if we somehow get lucky enough for them to bring the pair of storms back. But... I thought there was one around here. Keep they they keep announcing more stuff about Mop, new mount, Mog recolors. Ho ho. Hmm. I wonder how I'm doing, incidentally, on the Azerothian Archives meta achievement. It's bizarrely enough not really required for the um bizarrely enough it doesn't really seem necessary for the a world awoken. Azerothian archives. Yeah, I need two more achievements if I want the Isles Archivist title. One of them is clued in, which is information stuffed clues. 16 of 20. And then one of them is when a rock is just a rock. I'm 5 of 10 collect rocks with Roska. <laughs> I think those are just from continuing world quests. I mean, there's a clue here. Does this count? Do the Bane quest in Arkham City. Mm. If you do it on a Torn, you get race exclusive Mog. I do have a Torn, but she has um, bad gear. Say that her gear is bad. <laughs> you can force by doing the intro quest and alt. Oh. I don't know how much I want to do the achievement. On one hand, I don't know if I'm really worried about it, but on the other hand. I'm almost done, <laughs> you know, like, if I got this far, I feel like I should probably finish it. Like, you know, four more clues and then, uh, and then five more rocks. Doesn't seem that bad. Two more clues. Okay, those did count, actually. Well, that's easy enough, then. Need to finish an achievement for the title of the Bird Watcher. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I never did that one either. I spent like the first third of the expansion racing to get to that that Griffin Rare at the top of the bluff in in the Waking Shores, and then trying to take selfies with its dead body. Also surprised Archives wasn't required for the meta, but I'm grinding it anyways because it's fun. I did see the Pandaria remix stuff. Yeah, they put it up as a as a news article on, on on World of Warcraft. I think it's really funny that we all hit we all hear about things from Wowhead first. <laughs> They're just posting the same article that Blizzard posted and like summarizing it in their own words. But like, yeah. Um, I don't know if we'll be able to get challenge mode sets from it. Uh, I doubt we would be able to get the original versions. I think that would be them courting a controversy that they... They might have had enough controversy for the quarter. They might be set for the moment. Did I turn in the weekly? I didn't. Yeah, 5,000 mysterious fragments. Very good. We will get recolors. Hmm. Pink bird that runs around the plains was the last one I needed to take a photo of. Huh? <laughs> Alright, how are my bags doing? I've seen worse. I've seen better. I've just been vendoring these storm pets. I'm sure they're worthless. I'll take the 30 gold vendor price. I'm being grateful for it. Don't know why people hate this WoW remix so much. I don't know why. I haven't spoken to anybody that hates it. <laughs> I think people are really excited, at least in here. I'm sure there's people in the forums that aren't happy, but that's just like a static, like a constant of the universe. There's always people in the forums that aren't happy. Okay. Oh, oh! Looking at WoW had comments, it's like going to the going to like the most con like 
It's like reading the comments on like your, your local newspaper's website. It's gonna be like 57 people that are yelling about people burning down and then one person being like, Jan from Wichita is really glad that you're keeping her up to date. Keep up the good work. My grandkids say hi. <laughs> That's why I had comments. Do I want to do the Bane thing on a Torn character? Do I have a Torn character? I don't. I have a High Mountain Torn character. Yeah, MMO Champion Forums used to be exactly the same thing. MMO Champion Forums have always been just like a bastion of negativity. <laughs> and I mean... I'm glad that people have places that they can vent, and I hope that they feel better after having done so. But um, unless you get a special kind of kick out of reading that sort of thing, it's usually not worth your life to open them. <sighs> I meant unlocks the things too. Okay. Her gear is so bad. It's so bad. It's Petal Bloom. When am I ever going to use the transmog on a Torrent? I don't play Torrent. I don't think I can stomach it. I don't think I can stomach trying to do anything. They could be like, kill these three baby birds, and I would be looking at my Moonfire button being like, I don't think so. I remember Champ is still around, but I it's not really in my regular rotation anymore. We definitely don't need that one. It is 1044. I think we can actually take a short break as well. It's about time for me to go... Um, see my doggy and be like, okay, he's still here. <laughs> Bear me. That's it right there. Sounds right. I guess we can uh, take a look at it when we get there. Oh, you know what? Actually, I would have it tracked under. Go to melee. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Oh, hang on. Hold up. Never mind. There she is. <laughs> changed, changed my mind. Found it. There we go. Now, well, am I going to the Iron Plains? <laughs> yeah, I guess I am. I got 12 minutes. May as well. Do it on Batman. Ah, uh, yeah. I don't think I need to do this quest. I'm going to abandon that one. Something, something primalists. I'm so excited about how tidied up the bed achievement has gotten for me in the last couple of days. I know I'm still waiting for two more cataloging world quests and four more storms. But I'm pretty much just waiting. I mean, I guess, I, oh, you know what? Another four days of dailies as well. So four days is kind of the minimum, assuming no more quest repeats that I could have this done because of fringe benefits. But that is pretty much all I'm really left trying to do. That and then, of course, our, our ceremonial photo finish pet tie van. <laughs> Mm -hmm. Aw, thanks, Baskin Robbins. In this way. But it feels nice to finally get this stuff cleaned up. I think in the War Within, I might be a little more proactive about doing the various, like, one-time story quest lines, because... They're gonna make me do them eventually. I should learn my lesson. <laughs> How many times has it been where I'm like, this is optional content. And then, uh, well, yeah, no, comes around. It is optional, but not if you want to do the meta achievement. <laughs> and the meta achievements are fun. Speak to Scout Tomo. That's the person that rings the horn for the, rings the horn? Rings the horn for the, <laughs> for the hunts. All I need is to take a pic of Napagel. Yeah, that's, that's one of the ones I need, too. I need Nat Peggle, and I need um, Time Warp Mysterious Fisher. Uh, let's 
Scout. Scout. There you go. What if your monitor stops? That's a great question. What if? What happens? <laughs> what consequence are we unwilling to live with here? Have faith when I try to close notifications. Someone's menu on screen. Oh, there we go. You did it. You did it. <laughs> I, my, my brain has learned how to completely filter that out. The dragon glyphs one and the profession knowledge one. They can be blinking away. And it will not cross my radar. It's pretty convenient. Uh -huh. oh, somebody on the somebody on the fancy mount. <laughs> so, what characters are you guys? Are you guys okay? Here's the question: for remix, for the new event. Are you going to make a character that's like a new version of what you main now? Or are you going to do like a completely different alt is the question. How do you go about picking your main for time? For I keep wanting to call it time running because that's much snappier than WoW Remix Mist of Pandaria. <laughs> how, how do, what, what, kind of, what kind of things do you consider when you're picking your main for Remix? Maybe filters at group notifications. Maybe she'd try cranking up UI scaling. I see. Oh, I see what you're saying. Yeah. I think it's okay. It doesn't really bother me. I'm just going to call it a remix. This is the Polly Roger Dragon Riding Mount. It's the level 39 mount from Plunderstorm. Got a warp ready to put on my loom. I'll be the baby blanket for a great grandkid. Might need two. Plus, I should randomly make things for my grandkids. Mm. If it allows DH, definitely my main. If not, guess warrior, because that's the next best class I have experience with. Yeah. Is there any cataclysm hype in chat? There could be. You know, lots of people like lots of different things. This isn't, uh, I'm not, I think you're out of luck with me, though. <laughs> I'm glad there are people excited for it. I don't know any of them personally. Ellie Shaman is that was my main mop. Dependent if they're using Dragonflight class balance or moth class balance. Yeah. Uh, Plater. This is Plater. There's my Plater profile. Hm. I ain't got it. Wish they gave us the Pandaria Cloak so I can finally access Ordos on retail. Uh, level 10. You're going to Pandaria starting level 10, I believe, is where uh, is where these characters start out. Based on the post? 10 through 70. 10 through 70 makes me feel like this is a... This is going to use Dragonflight balance and not Mop balance. Because level cap at Mop was higher than that, wasn't it? They didn't say anything about demon hunters or evokers. Gonna be tough to choose a tune for a remix for sure. Wanted to try some of the new druid race combos. Moth classes were really different. Yeah. Yeah. If I had to guess, I think we're using dragonflight classes and in mop content, but that is a guess. It's not for sure. It was just the way they phrased it. They said make a modern WoW character. And the fact that they're saying this is remix and this is not classic. It's like specifically not a classic thing. I think we're using modern classes in it. Maybe I should read the post again to <laughs> make sure I didn't miss something that confirms that because uh, it was a big post. We read it on stream, could have missed something. So they said the character is going to be on your regular character login screen, but it's going to have an icon that flags it as a remix character during the event. And then after the event ends, it'll convert into a standard character. So I don't think it's going to be like a separate area like Plunderstorm was in the login screen, but you're not going to be on the same, like, you're not going to be running into normal WoW players out in the zone.
How does one go about culling their character screen? I feel like I need fewer, but I'm attached to them all. Oh, I think that's a I think that's a personal personal choice and journey. I uh Yeah. <laughs> if I look at a character and my main emotion looking at it is ugh, then I just delete it. <laughs> and then it's gone. But I uh I really like leveling new characters. I like the collection of characters I have now. Sometimes you just need a nice little reset. I wonder if I'm gonna keep my time running character <laughs> time running my remix character after. Like they're gonna convert it into a standard character, and I guess it could be an extra shot at like mount runs and whatever, but do I wanna keep it? Or will it have served its purpose at the end of it all? Will it feel messy to keep it around? If you were to pick an allied race you have not gotten yet from Op Remix, would you be able to level it up and get a heritage set that way? <sighs> That's a great question. I don't know. actually don't know. If I was guessing, I would guess that it would not work, but I would only guess, I would say like 70-30 with odds on it not working. <laughs> but I'm just making stuff up. Use Remix as an opportunity to level up at Mistweaver Monk. Mm. I like that. I might do that too. Or am I just going to be a holy priest? What about a panda priest? <laughs> A panda priest could be cute. Panda hunter. <laughs> Fifteen more plunder storm levels. Oh, you can do it. How many subs for you to do the randomizer for your first panda tune? Oh man. First panda tune? That's hard. Second, sure. Class, do you think they'll homogenize in 11.0? Uh, I'll elaborate on what you mean by that. <laughs> you ever notice how much the Torrens colonize? Hmm. I don't know. Goblins like setting up outposts. Make it available to everyone. Oh, um, I think they're kind of out. Out. <laughs> I don't like. You mean all races and classes? I think they're out. I think they've 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 widespread all the ones that they can easily do without needing a bunch more art. I think that if they add more races for things like shamans and druids and paladins, they won't do it all in one big go. <laughs> I like gentrify. My first thought when you mentioned classes and, and homogenizing is the thing that we used to talk about kind of waddish, where they would like take every class and give them movement and take every class and give them a dit spell and take every class and like kind of give the same tools to everybody and making the classes feel the same to play. That's what that word means for me in that context. But um, I understand what you're going for, and I don't think it was like incorrect or anything. <laughs> I like gentrify, that's funny. <sighs> Wear a male wearing tune since my two mains are male wearers. One is trans mom. There's a question Am I going to need an alt of each armor type? <laughs> Am I going to need a male, a cloth, a leather, and a play all at 70 in, in uh, Remix in order to get all of the mocks? I know that you'll be able to, like, buy extra mogs with the bronze, but... <sighs> this is what is freaking me out. Yeah, that's a good question. So if so, cloth for priest, male is hunter. Oh, leather, I guess, is resto druid. What is my plate character? Is it a warrior? Ooh. Paladin? Yeah, that, there we go. There's my biggest question is, do I need to do four characters to get all the transmog for retail? Or are these transmogs that we get not things that are locked to any armor type at all? There's a question. Yeah. I hope that either they're all armor type agnostic or they're not, but you can still earn them on any character because if I do need four characters, that's going to be kind of, I'll do it, but <laughs> I'm going to get real bored like halfway through.
I'm sure I'm sure they'll announce the, those kind of details at some point. My worry is that the rare mount recolors will be a 1% drop chance from raids again. I need to free a few more captives over here. Also, where is the storm? Storm time, right? Is it in the other? Is it in the other storm? There is a storm in the waking storm. The snowstorm just started up there. There's a snowstorm in the waking trips. <laughs> the teaser with the recolor of the challenge mode Phoenix was called. This must be how it feels waiting for storms. <laughs> They just, they come up and then you take a look at which ones are up and then you go, nope, and then you crawl back into the hole where you came from. Look, it's my life now. I guess that begs the question of after I finish this quest line, <laughs> then what? <laughs> I think then I might actually be out of stuff to do to work on the meta for the day. I was going to do the Rebel storyline today and then the Bane storyline tomorrow, but it's only 11 o'clock. I don't have um, any... I don't have any storm to do right now. And, um, yeah. <sighs> I might need a new project. I kind of thought this would take me longer. I mean, I'm glad it didn't take me longer, especially the questing, but. Arkham Trilogy time. Mm. Ooh, a Prismatic Leaper School. Although, I don't think I have, um, very much fishing set up on this particular character. I kind of want to fish out of it though. I must have some because I can see the school. So I must have done enough fishing on Inksy to like unlock them. Either that or they made them account wide. Because I definitely got all the equipment and all the unlocks and stuff on on Galuxia. Oh no, there's a Prismatic Leaper. Because I figured those are probably yeah, like 30 gold each. So easy. That's 30 gold I get to keep. I want a draconium nugget. Don't mind if I do. Mm. I've done my forbidden reach achievements. I've got all that sorted. All done. I'm just waiting for cataloging world quests, eons, fringe dailies, and storms. Okay, and we gotta sell them before we forget. We got four... 120 gold. 123 gold worth of leapers. Wow! Imagine that. I have to farm a million grand hunts later for one Maruhuna color. Oh, I'm so sorry. One world quest, one fishing net. Passive ways to farm conches. Tips on getting them. No passive conch farming. Tuscar tackle boxes can drop conches. Maybe the rare, maybe the fishing rare in the Forbidden Reach. I know that one gives coins. It may also give conches. And then, and then there's fishing, of course. But I got most of mine from just looting tackle boxes. They're everywhere along waterways, and they've got a pretty decent chance. One daily quest from the fishing area. Hmm. Daily quest of the active fishing hole gives five conches. I wonder if that's new or if that was always in there. I don't remember that from back when I was doing it. Oh, oops. <laughs> I failed to pick up a quest. Oh well. I'm sure we can clean that up in no, no time. All nearby corpses. Okay, so we can do it 
but I'm pretty sure cooldown and we can do kind of in AoE, that's nice. Waking Shore again, I'm done with Waking Shore Storms. Yeah. I mean, it feels nice to be done with Waking Shore Storms because um, they were kind of stinky. The, they didn't have very many, at least I kept doing them out in the mountains, that one spot that's up again. I don't like that spot. I think that spot sucks. <laughs> I did not have a very, I guess inside the keep there were some mobs. Although, now that you mention it, the, um, this spot sucked too. That was no good either. The Onaran Plains one with the, uh, the Nakud. That one's great. There's all kinds of mobs. They spawn really fast. You can kind of hyper-spawn them a little bit. to Dawn of the Infinite Heroic Grind for rep. 12k and 18k rep. Best of luck. Stay strong. Bling. You know what I finally got around to watching was uh, the um, 2000 and... Oh, I'd have to double check when it came out. But the Star Trek movie with uh, Mr. Pine in it. <laughs> I figure I'm going to watch all three of them, but I, I watched the first one. And now I'm wondering if maybe I should just go back and watch like the original Star Trek TV series, if that would be a better introduction to Star Trek. Because the movie was fun, but it was like, it's an action movie. You know, I, my, I thought they were boldly going where nobody had gone before, and they were just kind of going places they'd already been and trying to avert disasters. <laughs> I want to see, you know, quirky alien planets. And I'm thinking that maybe that's more of like the TV show territory. Add it to my list. <laughs> Dig it up at some point. Okay. Don't forget the Darkmoon Fair ride buff for the XP. When Wow Remix. I wonder how far away it is. When do we want it? <laughs> I guess is the next question. After season four launch? Alongside season four launch? Before season four launch? <laughs> season four is in like two weeks. It's under two weeks now. Hmm. You really should have watched American Psycho instead to get your meme game up to 2023 standards. Yeah, that is why people like me, is the meme game. <laughs> I surely have the most up-to-date and accurately quoted memes. That's me. <laughs> oh, dear. It releases right now. That would be just absolute chaos. It would almost be worth it for how funny it is, but it would uh, it would really stick a fork in my spokes for my day. I hope I'm still doing the right quest line. <laughs> I feel a bit like I've gotten sidetracked into just general side questing. Oh, I can check that actually. I can use BTW quest to see if I'm like where I am in the line. Mm. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. We're on it. There's there is more. But, uh, trucking along. About halfway done. Like that heckin' taco doing the boof. I mean, a bork. Boof. The way that I talk to my dog would drive any sane, stable adult human absolutely bonkers. <laughs> I ask him how he's doing like 42 times a day, like it's changed. <laughs> I also call him Moo Moo. <laughs> he's not even a cow! <sighs> he's a dog! Most people with pets. Yeah. Mm. 
he's napping on the uh, he was napping on the couch. He was so cute. He's really I think he's extra tired because we went on a hike yesterday and he's not like quite back up to normal. I wonder if he's a bit sore. And uh, he's absolutely hard crashed. He was face planted into the blanket that was like nest set up on the couch for him. Guys are flowers. I need to be oh I need to be looting them, that's right. I hear cats like when you use baby talk, unique tone with them. Dogs are probably the same. I know that if you want to get a dog's attention, using a higher pitched tone of voice is a good start because they respond to that better. Um, I'm not somebody that can whistle, but I can I can definitely whip out the baby voice when we need it. I think it was just like the attention. <laughs> He's a sweetie pie. He'll, if you're sitting on the couch, he'll do a thing where he'll come like lean up against the side of the couch. And then because his legs are taller than the, the surface of the couch, he'll kind of like lean his butt onto the couch and like wedge his legs underneath, but keep his front leg standing on the ground. Um, or like just kind of curl one leg underneath him and then just like, sh so he's kind of sitting in front of you, but not really. It's pretty cute. It usually means he wants screeches. Uh, BTW Quests is the add-on that I pulled up. I believe there should be a link to it in my add-on spreadsheet. <laughs> Pardon my caps. <laughs> Mom's dog does the same thing because he's so tall. Moosey looks really tall when he's next to some things, like my coffee table or my furniture. But when he's next to like trees and other and like big dogs, he doesn't seem so big. <laughs> he's just like a dog. He's just bigger than he used to be because he's not a little bubby anymore. Where did my little nugget go? <laughs> yeah, I'm sure you put him next to a giraffe, he won't seem so big anymore. But I was looking at old photos of him, and by old I mean from last summer when he was a little nugget. Um, like laying underneath, like just sta basically standing around all the same furniture I have now. And with that like flat reference point, it really puts into perspective how much he grew. I know that's what dogs do. Also children. It's like, you know, part of the part of the deal. But I don't know, it gets me. So big. Super size nugget. He had such a good time yesterday. Back in my last 15. Hey again. Oh, hello. Welcome back. We've been, uh, we've been cleaning up bits of the meta achievement. Oh, you, we, we read about the new event. WoW announced, Blizzard announced WoW Remix, the new limited time PvE event. And we talked about that. I'm very excited. I'm supposed to be witnessing. Alright, they're chatting. Yeah, it looks really cool. Here's another post I can see. Oh, I think that it was part of the original post. There's there's one of the screenshots of the mount. Previously unreleased color variants and mounts. There's that one by completing achievements during the remix event. That makes me think that the mounts aren't gonna be like a percent drop from like the raid or anything like that. It's like, it says earn those things by doing remix achievements, which makes me think that it'll be not super RNG. I need this thing with the chickens, by the way. <laughs> this is very important to me. Oh. Yeah, yeah, they, they announced it really recently. chicken coop backpack yeah some kind of new appearance that they're releasing for uh that, that that's going to be part of wow remix uh, i feel like i'm gonna have to play a priest because i'm gonna want to heal content for my friends because my friends are definitely gonna play i guess i don't know i should ask them but i feel like at least a handful of my friends are definitely gonna play 
and uh, they might want someone to like heal dungeons and raids and stuff for them. And if there's anything I know about my psyche, it's that I need to feel needed. <laughs> Go, Druid! This priest is pretty fun in mop, just saying. Love the new hair color. Oh, thanks! Just another wig on the wig shelf. New variation of Griffin in that new thing, do you think is a new mount? It looks like a phoenix. It looks like a phoenix recolor to me. Uh, meta achievements are achievements that are comprised of a bunch of other achievements. Um, typically with like some greater reward for having done all of the component achievements. Uh-oh, uh-oh. I'm gonna die. <laughs> Am I gonna die? I'm not gonna die. Vampiric Embrace is so powerful! It's so good! I'm pleased with that. That'll do. I can't do it again for another minute, but you know, how long is a minute really? I'll be kind of happy to get a, a, a mop-style phoenix. I never got any of them during mop. They did some phoenix mounts during 8.3. I have those ones. When I was young, yeah, yeah, yeah. the centaur took <laughs> me. Okay. Oh, torn voices kill me. Okay, slay centaur within knock it on hold. Bane, are you gonna, like, do it for me? Because they're kind of elite. <laughs> Have you done Northrend Cup Dragon Racing Achievements? I don't know if I knew there was a Northrend Cup. <laughs> I did just as much dragon riding as I needed to do for the meta, the World Awoken meta, and then I stopped. If I can only afford either the Twitch sub or the Patreon. Not both. Uh, I'm not on Patreon anymore. <laughs> the Twitch and the YouTube pay about the same. I think you. I think Twitch might be a bit better. It's very sweet, though. Yeah, I'm excited for the new Pandaria event. Northern Cup not out yet. Okay. Well, that's very that's very sweet of you to think about that. I think at some point I'm gonna reconfigure my my sub goal. I think that as much as it reflects the reality of being a streamer and watching your sub numbers go up and down, having it be a total subs goal and not just like a new subs goal is a bit disheartening whenever progress is made and then it backtracks. Um, I think I might come up with a smaller thing, an incremental thing, and then and then make a more limited, like a more reasonable new subs goal for it. Think they'll bring back the challenge mode dungeons and set recolors? Maybe. <laughs> we'll have to see. To be honest with you, I could not tell you what any of the challenge mode sets looked like. I couldn't pick them out of a lineup. I know that they there were sets for it. I know that I didn't get any of them. Could not tell you what any of them were. You could put them in a lineup of random transmog. Unless I knew where all the rest of it came from, I would have no chance of figuring it out. Druid one is like the best in the game. Oh. Druid and Shaman sets are my favorite. Aren't the Legion class sets recolors or challenge sets? Oh. <laughs> I don't think I remember what those look like either. <laughs> I kind of remember what the artifact weapons looked like for some classes. That's about all I got. I could I could pick Zalataf out of a lineup. I think my transmog memory is just not that good. Amazing looking for the time. Mm. Stripped down recolors. Oh, okay. What was the Rep Pelly one? 
Uh, Ashburner. It was a sword with the funny little notch in it. <laughs> First thing about collecting Legion class sets is it being tied to Suramar rep. Yup. <sighs> Weird roast, but I ever felt like if WoW partnered with a fast food chain to do like a Happy Meal version of toys of like wow weapons i always feel like ashbringer would totally come in a happy meal <laughs> it's like a hundred percent what they would do <sighs> my apologies to all those paladins out there it's just the look of it i feel like would translate well into a small toy Happy Meal toys already. How oh, I imagine the red pellets running around with their weapons. <sighs> Whataburger's doing Fallout meals. Mm. I didn't realize what big business um, limited fast food collaborations and drops and like special edition like drinks and stuff are. Apparently, it's like a really there's huge communities that get really excited about like the latest thing from these various fast food chains. And that's really interesting to me. It's like FOMO, but with a milkshake. <laughs> it's highly effective. Happy Meal Ash Bear squeaks when you bonk a ghoul. What am I gonna do after I finish this quest line? I'm kind of, um, I don't wanna say out of ideas, but. <laughs> I'm going to be out of stuff to do for the meta achievement, I'm pretty sure. That at least I have access to doing today. Kung Fury time, we can do Bean Movie tomorrow. Hmm. Is that like Mr. Bean? <laughs> the film. The feature length animated film. What else am I working on? I can't farm transmog. Oh, I could do mount runs. Now that we don't need all our characters parked out at Noble Garden, we could do Tumasar Garrus mount runs. Because I, I have 37 minutes left. It's not a crazy amount of time. There we go. New beginning. Job done. <laughs> we got a toy. Display of strength. We can try that out. Jacob, thank you very much for the 33 month resub. If they made the beam mount dragon riding, would you use that for your gnome over the poly roger? Probably, yeah. Especially with this yellow transmog. That would be awesome. That's kind of cool. <laughs> I kind of like that. I don't know if I've ever seen anybody use that. Hmm. Alrighty. So the only thing left for dragon quests should be fringe benefits. Where we are. <laughs> one, two, three, four of eight. And the one that's available today is one of those. So I, ne I need four more days of dailies. And then for Across the Isles, we need two more things for cataloging to get Wake Me Up and the Ohuna Spotter, Mysterious Fisher and Nat Peggle. For Centaurs, for the Centaur of Attention, we need a pet Tyva and we're saving that for last. And then for Storm Chaser, hopefully it's just doing one more storm in the Onaran Plains, a snowstorm, and then three storms in, Eldra in Theldrazes, which is thinky. <laughs> Imagine the beam out spinning as it dashed forward. Mm. I mean, even if it just kind of like squinched. <laughs> I've seen some pretty fast bees in my day. Oh, can we have a hummingbird mount? 
If I'm if I'm just asking for things, I would die. <laughs> yeah, I heard they nerfed Tyvan size. I'm almost glad they did it before I got him, so I, I, I won't have a clear idea of what I lost. I was gonna go... Oh, that's right, Mount Runs. That's right. We were gonna go do a little bit of Tumas Argaris. Tumas Argaris Elephar, huh? Couple of, couple of chances at the Abyss Nerf. I don't see why not. I'm not tired. I slept great. And I slept just fine. Would you like an earthworm now? Yeah. And a big old caterpillar while we're at it. Uh yeah, we looked at the we looked at the WoW remix mop announcement today on stream. I'm very excited about it. I think it looked really cool. Who's really excited for troll and run I heritage sets? It's me. I am looking forward to those. I think they're gonna be cool. Do a count wide mage tower artifact appearances so I can do those RPG wins in a new wall. Hmm. Maybe, but I don't. I wouldn't hold my breath. Gates of Hell. Plunderstorm was three weeks ago now. Half halfway done. <laughs> They're just dumping new stuff on us so quickly. It's nice to have lots to do. Nice busy, nice busy year. And then later this year we get a we get an expansion release. Oh, I'm so impatient. I want I want remix soon. I think it's because I just hit a wall with um I think it's because I just hit a wall with my meta achievement. And I'm like waiting for stuff now and it's like, well now now what? <laughs> what am I supposed to do? Like clean up my bags? Do you make gold? I guess maybe I can make some gold. You know what? Season 4 is in like two weeks. Less than two weeks. Although I, that means I have two weeks worth of streams to fill. With five storms and two world quests to do. We're gonna have to come up with a project. How many years have you been streaming well? Um... Nine? Ish? Because I've been doing YouTube for ten. Ten and a half now. And... Actually, coming up on 11 for YouTube. <laughs> I'm coming up on 11 years for YouTube, and I started streaming not too long after I started YouTube, I think. I've done the Shadowlands meta. I did that during Shadowlands. Finally finished Plunderstorm. Mildly enjoyable, but also glad to be done. Mm. So the mop event is going to have characters on your regular character screen, but they're going to be flagged as remix characters. So they won't log into the same WoW as, as normal, but it, it seems like it'll... Uh, you're not tabbing. I guess I don't know actually, but they they said that you'll you'll see them with your characters. <laughs> Daunting for me. It was a big project for sure. It was it was a big deal. It was. I thought it was so cool that they retroactively added a mount to it. What a lovely surprise to just kind of log in and then get a mount for something that I did ages ago. Twenty four hour ten year WoW stream celebration soon. What on earth would I do for a twenty four hour stream? I would have two hours, three hours of streaming like normal. Another two hours of streaming like normal with a slightly hoarser voice. And then I would just be crabby. Just morose and silent and crabby for, I don't know, another 18 hours. <laughs> I am, um, I, I like, I'm running down the stairs, by the way. Don't worry about it. Um, I like me some nice, nice, nice regular routine, you know, meal times, walk time, bedtime. I need those to function. I don't know how everybody else does it, but if I get off my routine, I get awful. <laughs> I am not having a good time. Working on Tyvan, not sure how much energy I'll have left for another huge one. Streams as usual, but she's just outside in a garden. <laughs> Kira can stream for you during your breaks. We just, uh, we pre-tape 18 hours of Kira and Moose footage and I just kind of roll those while I'm gone. <laughs> Watch Kung Fury, it's like 30 minutes. Yeah, I don't mind streaming like six hours on like an expansion launch day um, or a big event, but it absolutely decks me for whatever reason. 
Um, I don't function very well, and it's important for my mental health to keep a pretty straight schedule. Maybe for like a really special event, but even then, I don't know, 24 hours? <laughs> it might be kind of grim. I would need like a week off, a week off after that. Hello, I think that if I did a 24 hour stream, I wouldn't sleep. That would be part of the point. I don't think I would ever sleep while my stream is running. I don't think I could. I think the idea that my stream is running and I'm unconscious would freak me right out. I have nightmares about that. Uh, no luck with that now. Three hours every day or something, right? <laughs> I see the appeal of doing big stream events and streamathons for the sake of like fundraising, but that's just because I'm looking down the barrel end of a, of um, if I do want to buy a house at some point, um, you want you want your down payment to be pretty juicy if you can, plus like moving expenses and whatnot. We have savings, but more never hurts. Kind of like this outfit. It's just kind of cute. Twelve hours. Like 9 a.m. to 9 p.m. Last summer, my wife and kids went to Arizona for five days, and I tried to do that again. Play about 10 to 12 hours a day. I could only go four to five before I was done. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I haven't marathoned WoW like that. Even during expansion launches and stuff. I was it's been a long time since I've done like a 10 plus hour like WoW leveling or whatnot. I get tired. <laughs> And then I'm like, okay, I want to go watch a show and have some food and then put it down and then take some sleep and have a shower and then come back later. You know, like I want, I want to still live my life. I don't, I don't, I'm just, I'm just, I don't, I don't got it in me anymore. I used to, I used to, I used to be able to game like that, but it's just not compatible with the current version of Hazel. You've explained chops perfectly. Two hours of giving it my all, followed by six hours of cranky. <laughs> Streamer did 118 days of streaming in a row, and the last it was 24 hours. Oh. That's a lot. <laughs> Getting 10 days off for the new Final Fantasy expansion because it falls over my birthday slash 4th of July. Oh, nice. Trying to get the rest of the preset? If it happens, it would be nice. I mainly want the mount out of here. I'm doing it for the Abyss Worm. <laughs> but at this rate, I'm going to have all of the transmog ever before it gets to that point. Get a house the old-fashioned way? Declare yourself and your household a sovereign nation and claim your rental unit through imminent domain. Your landlord protests, detain him in your utility room. Yeah, I don't know about that. <laughs> I had a dream that I got a really old house and it was really small rooms and funny paint and it smelled funny and I was walking around being like, it's all mine. <laughs> I was so happy. <laughs> I'm definitely, definitely um, delusional. I'm getting way too obsessed with a reality that does not exist, and I'm going to have a rude awakening when I one day achieve this dream and find out that it's nothing like what I thought it would be. But that's okay. <laughs> I don't stream, but I imagine I would run out of things to say after 24 hours. Yeah, that is a danger. <laughs> And then there's like, well, I have something to say, but I'm just complaining. And how long do I feel like I want that to be my stream in a given day? Or like, arguing with people is another one. You can you can fill hours real easy by picking fights, um, or just by accepting them as they're served up to you. But um, whether or not that's the vibe that you want is another question you have to talk about with yourself. <sighs> You can pick fights with us all you want. <laughs> I 
feel like I must have more stories from my days off. They were so lovely, but I told you guys that I played a ton of Stardew, and that was very cozy. I took, I took Moose for a nice hike, and he went sort of swimming for the first time. He went splashing. He went wading. He had a play date in the rain and then a bath. <laughs> I think that was Sunday night. It was It was pouring rain. And uh, it was either Sunday or Monday, and uh, we took him for a play date, and the dogs were like wrestling in the mud. It's like, all right, it's, you're definitely having a bath tonight. Spent an hour trying to get this boss's achievement the other day. Have to get one of the assets have ten percent. Oh man, why do I bother buying cat toys? The trader's choke bag is the best thing she's ever seen. Ah uh, yes. I understand that one. <laughs> we buy the cat toy for the dream of how happy it'll make them. And then, uh, and then, yeah. <laughs> Boxes, bags. She was always about the receipts. The receipt of anything that I bought was by far the most fun part of the whole thing. Love the green mug on the undead? Why, thank you. Now, dog toys, on the other hand, at least at this stage of my dog's life, he loves them, and they have a highly limited lifespan. <laughs> you have to you have to really watch him when he's got them so he doesn't tear off pieces and then eat them. But he's like, the whole time he's playing with them, he's just having so much fun. But you cannot let him settle down to chew them, otherwise you're, you're going to be trying to fish pieces of plushie out of your dog. I've also discovered the hard way that while he loves tennis balls, he cannot have any ball that has fluff on it because he will tear it off and then eat it. And then have a bad time the next day when he's trying to get rid of it. Um, he can have rubber balls and they bounce good and he likes those, but he's not allowed to have any kind of ball tennis ball with like any fuzz on it because he will denude the thing. He's so IRL. I've had to patch up some dog toys that they love the most. I can sew a little bit. And I have a large supply of dog toys that need repairs. That I've been kind of meaning to do. But I have yet to do any of them. Like, I've yet to pull any of it out. I have a hand kit and a sewing machine. Based on, depending on the situation. I haven't done any of it. <laughs> the most I've done is I've, if a limb is about to come off of the toy... Um, I just amputate it the rest of the way and then I give the toy back to him and that usually buys some time. Sub alert's not working? Mm, we got Jacob and Sister Coyote. I wonder if it's just, uh, if it's just lagging for a sec. I don't see any new ones in the last 15 minutes just yet. A dog toy repair stream for the hot new content trend you're starting. I am, <laughs> doesn't sound any less boring or more boring than the things that I do anyways. I, th I feel like the, the attraction of the stream is just that there's somebody around that is probably not going to yell at you. <laughs> Let's not make any promises. Um, it's never been the hottest place for, for drama or cutting edge content or anything like that. But, you know, I'm vaguely friendly and I'm here. <laughs> And I can promise that I'll continue being vaguely friendly and present. That's what we got. I can do those two things while patching up a dog toy. Mm. Yeah, see, camera, re camera repair is impressive, though. Like, that's awesome. <laughs> that is, th those are expensive and delicate components that are, like, skilled work to work on. I was just going to try and, like, basically tie a stuffed moose back together. <laughs> My favorite vaguely friendly streamer ever. Oh, I shot. Spill some water in your second PC repaired on stream. I don't think I'm qualified. Oh, uh, let's let's let me let me rephrase. I don't think I'm qualified to repair a water damaged PC. <laughs> I don't even know how you'd go about doing that beyond drying it out and hoping for the best. 
I am qualified to spill water on it. I'm very good at that. <laughs> Spilled water on all kinds of stuff in my day. I put together a PC on stream once. I did a I did a stream build, or an on stream build for a while. It was okay. <laughs> Went fine. If you're a vaguely friendly streamer, are there vaguely menacing streamers? <laughs> I mean, there are. I've heard, and I haven't watched any of the streams, so I wouldn't name any names because I don't know. But I've heard that there are some streamers that will make a form of entertainment out of taking a person in chat who has probably had it coming for some reason or another, but then like making a, you know, like making a scene about like a given, a given con topic. Um, that's a thing that some people apparently can't speak for sure do as a, as a form of entertainment. It is pretty funny. Yeah. And I, I get it. Yeah, I, I totally, I totally get it. I didn't use to until I had been streaming for long enough, but I don't think I'll, <laughs> I don't think I'll ever judge any streamer for getting like, I don't know, defensive or a bit, getting their hackles up a bit on stream because it does eventually kind of wear you down over time. Even if the things people are saying are pretty reasonable, it's just kind of like a, a an, an erosion situation. I doing? I did the mount run, and then I hearthed the Valdrakan for unclear reasons, but that's fine. <laughs> mount run time. Will you do an announcement trailer for your remix racing class like you did when you debuted your Dragonflight main? Uh, probably not. Given that it's only for a limited time anyway, I feel like that would be a little bit cheesy of me. It'd be fun. <laughs> but I'm probably gonna make a bunch of characters. Just a question: Which one I'm gonna do? Which one am I gonna do first? Mm. Miss your mage tower days when your friendliness took a backseat to intense focus and sometimes simmering rage. Oh. <laughs> those were those were sometimes. I feel like that went mostly fine because I turned off chat for myself. Um, that was that was. I think I would have fractured and become very what am i doing <laughs> i'm doing the hunter class over home i think it would have been a problem if i'd been trying to keep up with chat because i and the thing was i had already seen when mage tower came out other streamers getting tilted off the moon by people backseating mage tower challenges because they're just inherently hard so anytime that you fail it people are gonna be like oh try this thing when maybe maybe it's the right thing maybe it's not Maybe you just need to practice it a bunch of times. And, uh, but like being told you're doing it wrong by inference a million times uh, really gets you going. What are we doing? We're gates of hell. And I'd already seen that happen with other people that I knew to be stable and respectable individuals. So I was like, I'm going to get tilted. I'm just going to not even read this. Have at it. Good luck. I'm going to figure this out my way. It's definitely just like a, an individual point of view, but for me right now, I don't really mind them adding these little temporary things because they feel less messy in the long term. I feel like it's not something that I have to like worry about later or keep around forever. It's just kind of like a fun holiday event that I can do for a while and get what I can out of it if I like. And then and then when it's done, it's 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 out of it's out of my way. It's out of sight. It's out of view kind of thing. The thing about backseating is that people are genuinely, for whatever reason, trying to help. Um, so it's and, you, and it's hard to remember that sometimes when all you can see is someone telling you that you're doing it wrong. But people are they're trying they're trying to help. It comes from it, it usually comes from either a good place of wanting to help because they don't want to see the person struggle, or it comes from 
a vaguely narcissistic place of like, look at me, I know how to do this right. Um, or whatever they perceive to be right. And wanting to be the person that like fixed it, you know, like that's that's another place where that motivation can come from. But for whatever, you know, either way, they're trying to help. Um, and yeah, doesn't nothing says nothing says that it's a problem. It's just if you know you're gonna take it the wrong way, there's nothing wrong with not reading it. Oh, best is when we try to give you directions when there's a delay. Left, right, other left, turn around. Yeah, by the tree, in front of the NPC. You're just like in a city full of NPCs. Uh, I'm that's that's a little bit stream delay and a little bit me. Um, it is difficult to give me directions. For whatever reason, there's something about me that has a hard time interpreting them, or I'll interpret them too literally and then get into trouble when I'm when I've missed something that I was supposed to understand that I just didn't know about. I did read the remix things. It's so weird to me watch to watch 6K Hearthstone players backseat people that are 15K. Yeah, you can see it in top WoW PvP streams as well. You can go into streams of like multi-glad BlizzCon champion top of their game players and then people will be like why don't you do this talent <laughs> it's like i'm sure that they have i mean maybe it's just like a conversation but sometimes people will phrase it as like oh no this thing is better you should run this against this and not only are they like probably wrong but like oh man the audacity it's it's fine but it's funny it's like going to an nba game and then telling them they should jump higher Wear different shoes. <laughs> Go left. I've seen Vinriki troll those guys just play dumb for ages. I've always wondered how other streamers handle stuff like that. Uh, any luck? No. Not that time. <laughs> Although apparently it does happen with professional sports players as well. They'll get, they'll, 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 you know, backseating is not unique to any one thing. There's always going to be somebody who thinks they can do something better. My thing is, even if you can, is it that important that it be done perfectly? <laughs> okay. 11.48. I can do another one of these. I can do one more mount run. I feel like this mount doesn't exist. <laughs> I don't know how many attempts I have in Abyss Worm, but I feel like it doesn't happen. Americans watching football, that's all I'll say. The one thing I will say is that if you're just having, like, in the football analogy or, like, the sports thing, if you're having a conversation amongst, like, you and your friends and you're talking about, I wonder why they don't do this thing or, like, man, if they tried that thing, they could have beat that game. And you're, like, you know, saying it in your living room. I feel like that's totally normal and fine and fun. It's when you're tweeting it at the athlete that I get that I, that I think it's silly. You know, it's not... It's not like no one's ever allowed to question the brilliance of people that do things. It's just that sometimes you don't need to send it to them directly. Watch the first third of Cone Fury. Hmm. Hmm. But then there's always the question of if you take out any and all suggestions, what's left of your stream chat? Is it quiet? Is it spooky? Is that what you want? Maybe. Who's to say? Trick to back seating is not to say do X this way, but to say when I did X seemed to work then. Yeah, I I like that approach a lot. And I try to use it when I offer things as I try to say, this is how I, this is something that worked for me when I tried it. Because it takes into account that different situations and people are different and that the thing may not work for somebody else. But if they are looking for things to try, it's an option that is available. It's a little bit less presumptuous than you're doing something stupid. Try this instead. I'm going for... I mean, Barnacles is going to Dollar Run. That's the one. Video circulating of a pro golfer getting advice in her swing from a random dude. I saw that. I saw that one. I had to turn it off because I was... <laughs> she was very nice about it. But, oh man, that hurt. <laughs> Your dragon is pretty. <laughs> Thanks. Kind of clashes with my fire moonkin, but what are you gonna do? It's the sunset scales for the uh, for the Emerald Dream whimsy Drake.
what a beautiful day to start the new week with. <laughs> and by start the... I guess it's Wednesday, but... It's kind of like a Monday for me. I've started calling my Monday nights my Saturday nights. Have you started your patio garden? Excited to find some plants for my own. Yeah, I got some stuff going on my balcony. I have some things that came back from last year, and then I planted some sweet peas. Are the one new thing that I got that I set up with some herb seeds and some sweet peas. But I don't want to go super big because I don't know whether or not I'm going to move. And if I do, I don't want to have to tear out a ton of... Like, I'll be able to bring some things with me, but certainly not everything. Um... But then part of me is like, just plant the stuff and deal with it anyways. You might not even move. And then you'll be like, oh man, I should have grown tomatoes. <laughs> How's the weather? 68 Fahrenheit here in the northern U.S. Lovely. It is... What is it this morning? Here, let me find it. Uh, sunny 10 degrees Celsius, which... Hang on, let me figure out my math. 50-ish? Is that right? Vaguely? <laughs> Hang on, let me Google it. Uh, oh, hang on, my monitor's still on. Uh, tens. Yeah, 50. Wow, I'm good. <laughs> uh, yeah, it's about 50-ish uh, right now and beautiful and bright and sunny. Moving potential? Behind in your life updates? Nah, nothing, nothing to really announce. Um, I'll, uh, I've, I want to move. <laughs> I want to buy a house. I'm still working on figuring out whether or not I can afford to do so this year. And if so, whether or not that looks like something that I actually want to pull the trigger on, or if I would want to wait another year to save more. It's sticky for a million reasons, but it's something that I'm spending a lot of time thinking about, at least. Can't wait to get back into our house. The new expansion? How's the new expansion? So there's Dragonflight right now, which came out, what, last year? And that one's been good. <laughs> and there's another one coming out later this year uh, that looks good as well. Morning, afternoon, Hazel and chat. Good morning or afternoon. Hope you're having a good day. Ever considered having a pet chicken in the, in the house? I mean, I think if I ever like have a serious mental break, the first thing I'm gonna do is put a duck in my bathtub. It's not a good idea, which is why a mental breakdown would be required, but um, that sounds like something that I would do. <laughs> I was hunting for four years, happened to pick the worst possible time for such things. Yeah. <laughs> but one day, one day it'll work out. I just believe. I want a donkey. They have personality. <laughs> uh, I feel as though I don't want a donkey because I have a Malamute mix. And that really accomplishes the same kind of energy. <laughs> My dog doesn't want to go somewhere. Good luck moving him. Because he's not going anywhere. <laughs> Real duck quack quack. Yeah, I would need some pretty big, uh, pretty big, pretty big property in a pond to start looking to actual ducks. I don't think I'm, well, you never know. But it's occurring to me that like, I'm already older than my parents were when they had a big property that they were keeping up with, and, um, <laughs> I don't know. I don't know when I thought I would have bought a house. I guess not by now. Who's to say what what's reasonable anymore? I have lots of stuff I can vendor. Do you think I can buy a house with some World of Warcraft gold? Mm. It's kind of your fault for messing around in elementary school instead of getting a house while they were affordable. Yeah. All those, uh, all those bugs I was chasing outside. I could have been doing something useful with my life. <sighs> Can I hearth out of here? No, my hearth stone's on cooldown. Barnacles, I'm sorry. You're just gonna have to stay in, um... You're just gonna have to stay in... In Dalaran. Fifi B, thank you for the brand new sub. Appreciate it. Yeah, housing market in Canada is also pretty, pretty yucky. Um, I'm looking on Vancouver Island, which is an especially expensive place to look. But it is home, and it's where all my family is, so I don't want to go too far away. I could get a house, like, now if I wanted to move to, you know, <laughs> the middle of nowhere. 
Uh, and I don't think I would necessarily hate living in the middle of nowhere. I don't need a whole lot to be happy, but I don't want to live far away from my parents ever again. I did it for eight years. You know, life's too short. I want to spend more time than, than that with my mother. Uh, Yukon not as cheap as you would think. If you were looking for if you were looking for inexpensive places or inexpensive places to buy houses, anyways, I can't speak for the rest of the cost of living. You're looking at like certain areas in kind of Saskatchewan, maybe Alberta. Um, I don't know about Manitoba. I haven't looked that far east, but uh, that's where you can kind of afford stuff. But that doesn't mean that those areas are places that you would want to live. Heard good things about living in Serbia. I did hear more bad things, but let's be positive. Cheapest is in the prairies, but even Alberta is getting more expensive. Yeah. Yeah, it's. I've. Moving home has been very expensive, but I've loved it so much that if I can find any way, even if it means living in like a condo and not a house, um, I would rather do that and be here than have a house, you know, somewhere in the prairies, I think. How do you feel about the mop remix? I'm so excited. It looks so cool. Oh, it looks so good. I want to look at it again. <laughs> I want to see it again. We got a couple minutes left before I'm wrapping up the stream. Let's, let, me, let me skim this post again and see if I get anything new out of it the second time. Wow, remix. I'm just going to start calling it remix and stop trying to say the whole thing because it's tough. So, here, I will link the post if you guys want to have it handy to scroll around. Uh, yeah, no, Pandemonium and Time Running were both uh, not included in this, in this post. But I think this is what that is referring to. Time-limited event that lets us re-experience the whole expansion at an accelerated rate from level 10 through 70. The loot has been overhauled, has powerful new effects, allowing players to shape their experience, power up, power on. So you level faster, you make a new remix character, you get big, powerful items everywhere. Quest quests, chests, creatures, bosses. You can customize your items. You can convert unwanted items into a currency that you can use to upgrade your stuff or buy cosmetics. And at the end of it, we're going to... Like the, the Moggy Collect we're going to have with us in the War Within. So my take is that... I forgot what I was going to say. It kind of sounds like a mix between... Um, classic and um, BFA artifact powers like like these big gems they, they seem crazy plus season to discover the veil we get to see the veil again yeah I wonder if they're gonna if there's gonna be here let me see so this is the content and when you get to do it so you level from 10 to 70 and every so often levels you get access to more content to do in terms of different zones um, questing campaigns sometimes even like end game campaigns like at level 20 you could do the 5.1 landfall thing Different dungeons, different scenarios. What about the Tiller's Farm? <laughs> Do I get to plant anything on my Tiller's Farm? There's no auction house, mind you, so it doesn't seem like economy is going to be a big thing here. Trisky, thank you for giving out four gift subs. Appreciate it. Hmm. <laughs> if this goes well, yeah, it would be cool to see it for different expansions. I have Tiller's Farm in retail. Yeah, I guess so. That's a good point. New items will be yours for the taking. Each item slot has their own unique identity with spell gem sockets. They come with exciting turbocharged new effects similar to trinkets. As you progress, you'll become more and more powerful. Here are some gems that you might find. Blizzards. Wildfire. Abilities have a chance to inflict fire damage, spread wildfire to a nearby enemy. Stacks. Fits in a tinker socket. Allies a shield. Yeah, and it converts to a regular character at the end of the event. Pretty cool. Every three seconds, build a charge of hailstorm, punishing ten stacks, unleash hail. Each impact influits frost damage and applies none and cold. Yeah, I'm gonna need a healer, but I'm also gonna need a DPS. <laughs> You'll also be able to earn an artifact cloak that gains permanent power increases as you play. The power you earn in your strongest character share to alts to make leveling even faster. Threads you find woven into the cloak permanently increasing the power, and the cloak itself is experience gain, and then straight stats, including leech. Uh, PTR is up. Oh, oh, oh.
can I, can I, can I do it? <laughs> Time to finally work in that Morgan muck. Do you think this is a test for future chromie time? No. Uh, incompatible. I think I'll go outside, sunny, almost warm. It's lunchtime for me. <laughs> it is time for me to wrap up my stream, but I'll be back tomorrow. We can do some more storm chasing. And if there's any, if there is a playable PTR, we could poke around at this just to get a, just to get some answers to some questions. We'll have to see. Thank you so much for joining me today, guys. I had a lovely stream. Feels good to be back. I appreciate your company and I hope you guys have a wonderful, wonderful day. Bye.